Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. personally, I'm a little disappointed they've pulled out the the, the mm. throat cuts gone. Oh, here we go. TJ's going. I like it. Why don't you put a little bit in our cans, bro? Are we live, by the way? We are live. Oh, we're we're live. <laughs> just, just gone we're live. We're going oh, on, live. TJ. We're going live. Uh, so, what are we doing? Well, we are uh, hanging out. Dominic George. G'day. How are you? Case Muse, Kia ora. our All Black for the night, <laughs> as we do a live podcast, All Blacks watching All Blacks, just joining you as the hucker is starting. Now, if you've decided to join along with us... TJ, let it rip some. He is pumped. If you're joining along as we Whoa. are just watching the start of the hucker, there might be a 30 yeah, second Kapo Panga. Kapo. Cool. Whoa. So when was your last game, Case? Uh, 2004. So that yep. was, South Africa. That's just, that feels in, like a in Joby. Yeah. All right. And we were just talking, we were arguing, when did Kapo come in? Well, I, I, it was at, uh, they debuted at Carisbrook because I was there against South Africa, incidentally. Um, and it was. Well, Sunny Bill. The Garth year. Or. I think it was before the 2011 World Cup. I'm right. pretty sure it was. Yeah, I was yeah. in France at the time. You are, when, when it happened? Yeah. So when, when was roughly. So was Eight, nine, maybe? Yeah, 08, 09? Oh, so well, was it yeah. early? For some reason, I yeah. thought I thought it was like, you know, let's get the boys together for the World Cup. So it was before oh, that. No, nah, it, b- it was before that, eh? Mean hucker. Now, just so people know, this is a, what we call a companion podcast. We want to keep you company while you're watching the game. Um, we're not going to necessarily commentate the game, but as you've already heard, <laughs> <laughs> if we see it and we like it, <laughs> we will speak to it. There we go. All right. I've always wondered with the hucker... How much energy do you expend with something like that? You it's know like what a, I mean? It's like a warm-up. Right. Is it's it, like a real it short, a sharp yeah. hit. Yeah. Um, you know, depending on how hard you, you, you the intensity you put into it. Yeah. Because um, they like, go pretty hard now, though, eh? Now they go hard, yeah. Now well, they go how they should. We yeah. had we awesome. had the um, yeah. so. the guy in who did the documentary By the Balls, yeah. Simon Coldrick, that was on TVNZ a couple of weekends ago. Sure. And he tells the whole story, I don't know if you saw the doco, but of um, Buck Shelford. Basically saying oh, yeah, to the boys yeah. in 87, pull your head in or we're not doing this anymore. Yeah, yeah. And that was kind of where it started. Yeah, totally, eh? totally. Yeah. And yeah. then the journey from there to get it to where it is now, it, it's it's been a long time coming and it's done properly. And it's been done properly for a long time. Yeah, yeah it has. For, for, yeah, exactly. Would, but, it, uh, yeah. would it be fair to say, no, I'm not going to start on a negative here, but would it be fair to say that the 2015 Rugby World Cup winning team is probably the best All Blacks team we've ever had, certainly of recent times and... And these guys maybe aren't quite at that same level. I'm not saying they're still not deserving of being the favourites, yeah. but there's a, a slightly different... Other people have caught up a bit. They're maybe not, you know, without the Dan Carters and the Richard McCaws, yeah. they're not quite it, as they were. It, it's that, that one's interesting for me, eh? Because well, well, I think the world of rugby has got more competitive. Yeah. And the, the, ca- the, the gap's, the, closed, the gap's right? definitely yeah. closed between yeah. the All Blacks and, and other countries. Mm. Um I always th- what what I feel about this is it, you knew with McCaw at the helm that it would take a lot for that ship to sink and if it was sinking he'd be the last man. You know but he he just instilled that real confidence. Didn't totally, he, you know? totally. But I also think that that nucleus of that team had yeah. been around from yeah, uh, the 2011 World Cup too, whereas yeah. we've had a lot of people move on and a lot yeah. of a lot of positional changes and and new. New blood, new blood in here, eh? New blood. Well, my, my, Un- girls, my girls asked me uh, in yesterday, yeah. has anyone was anyone in the World Cup in 2011 that's playing now? Yeah. And I think there's Whitelock, Sonny yeah. Bill Williams. Aaron Smith. Aaron, Aaron Smith. Smith. I think that's just, I, I don't Smith. think Ben was there in 2011 yeah. in the actual squad. No, uh, I don't think he was. Not in 11. No, I don't think no. so. No. 15 wow, was he was. It? No, I don't think he was in the was in the 11 winning team. Yeah. I could be proven wrong. I mean, Jason. No, God, you're probably right. Actually. God bless you, Jason, doing technical stuff tonight. So. Our technical guru is going <laughs> is going to be off his head doing other stuff. But normally in these podcasts, Jason would be googling that away to find out if we've got that right <laughs> yeah, or wrong. Yeah, yeah. Um, give me give me five minutes to get my head all done, <laughs> and then I'll be all over it. Give um, me five minutes. Well, so, you, but here it is. Like this is what people have been waiting for for a long time now, isn't it? Oh, you the build-up. Like, the, it's just been. So you just want that just to go. You know? All day today, I've just yeah. been getting messages. Just yeah. people, just a little messages, just saying, "I'm so excited." Yeah, about yeah, this yeah, game. yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're a few seconds away from kickoff. All right, so. Jerome Garcia's oh, case. What do you think? What do you think? Is Jerome, he's not our favourite, is he? <sighs> He's, Mate, he, he's let's, just, let's do this. We've just he kicked off. off. Bull? Didn't he send off Sonny Bull? Yeah, I think it was him. It was, it was him. him. Yeah, it was him. Yep. So he's not he's, 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 blow the pee, the he's, he's a blow the pee out of the whistle guy, isn't yeah. he? And yeah, loves a red card. I can almost, I'll, I'll tell you what, let's throw a tenner. I reckon there'll be a um, red card in this game. Red, red, red yeah. or yellow? Yeah. So that's yeah. the thing. That's, we talk about the All Blacks and getting to the 
to the finals. Yeah, mm. and I think you know we could survive a red card through the through the through the through the, the pool group. games. Oh, yeah. Of course, yeah, but. You know, once you're in that semi-final, quarter-finals, it's a, that, mate. If you've got a red card, yeah, that's you know, you're, you're yeah. I don't know. I don't know about quarter. I mean, look, I mean, if we're playing Scotland in the quarters, maybe not quite so much. Certainly semis, though. You know, well, we could we could lose a man against Scotland hey, in the quarters. We've lost a quarter before yeah. 2007. If yeah, we want to bring no, back some, don't worry about, that's some right. bad memories, yeah, 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 interesting, interesting. You know, he's going to blow the pee out of the whistle. There's no doubt about that. Now but, you uh, said he sent off Sonny Bill. I thought the same referee that sent off Sonny Bill also sent off um, Barrett a few weeks ago. Is it Garcia's? Yeah, I'm sure it's Garcia's. Yeah, so because sure I thought Garcia's. that was a headline that came out. This is and and, and he was doing our Tell first you, game. Tell you one thing that would be interesting is goal kicking as well. So you see they're um, you know early early crack Pollard straight away. He's about forty nine out on the uh, on the angle. Um, probably more on probably out fifty two on the angle, and he's going to have a yeah uh, he's going to have a nudge early on. Bridge under the high ball though that was that's impressive because that's you know it's going to be interesting to see what teams do. I was watching the uh, Fiji game this afternoon. Mm. And um, Australia were behind. They got the ball, 22 penalty, went for the corner. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. You know, you're behind in a World Cup. People talk about in a World Cup, you don't do those. Yeah. Let's put it out in the corner and drive take the line. The you take the point. Offer. They scored. Yeah. They scored a try from it, so they made the right decision. But it's going to be interesting to see how these teams do it. All right, there you go. If you are listening or joining us, just so we can sync up. We are a minute 55 into the game. We're just approaching two minutes into the game. So if you're a bit ahead of that, then hit pause. For 15, 20 seconds, yeah. join us so we can sync up and basically hang out with you drinking this uh, beautiful gin and vodka so what from we've the Castrona Distillery. In two mm-hmm. minutes so far, is that um, he's going to police, uh, the referee's going to police things rather officiously, and also you can't give a penalty within about 60 yards. <laughs> well, Gus, he, he polices everything. Yeah. Especially the breakdown. He does. He, um, he doesn't like contesting at breakdown. No, no, which is no. what the game's about. It is. <laughs> well, so, that's a very poor kick. So we have to be very careful with who we're sending in and, and attacking the right the right breakdown. Yep, yep. That's but right. Yeah, You're that's exactly right. They've got to be smart on that, don't they? Yeah. Is this yeah. a 50-50 game? Could it go either way? I think so. Yeah? You know, South Africa uh, are playing some fantastic rugby. South Africa going back to what they do best. You know, they've, they've stopped trying to be like the All Blacks and play like us, and they've gone back. Rassi Rasmussen has just gone back to Ooh, big seven. forwards, yep. smashing the shit out of everyone. That's it, and getting over and that And then the line. back's just kicking for position. That's right. And playing from, from in the opposition's 22. What's interesting is there's been a penalty each now, and uh, it's been the attacking side that's been penalised, which I find... <laughs> As a fan of a game, grating, and to say the least, you know, you've got the ball, you're on attack, and some minor infringement. You know what I'm saying? So it's, yeah, it, it sort of annoys me a little bit. But, um, yeah, we're going to see a lot of whistle, I think. It'll be interesting. Do you reckon that's going to be a tournament wide issue, or are we looking particularly at the French referee? Oh. I think it, oh, referees, hey. each referee has their own little traits. Yeah. You yep. know, and, and once you understand the referee that's refereeing your game, mm. you can adapt your game game to that so when you're playing who, who you saw a referee come up on the on the scorecard or whatever did you go oh totally. shit yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you would have a contingency plan for that yeah like, right you know your te- technicians and um your stats mm. you would know what he gives where, where he gives his penalties yes. away yeah and you would be taking extra care in those areas yeah because that's an interesting thing about rugby isn't it is there a game that's more open to interpretation you know it's like the gymnastics thing and they hold up the, the cards it's kind of almost like that isn't it it's just it's it's really so uh, uh, subjective in terms of refereeing you know one ref sees th- something one way and another one sees it completely different it's it's crazy you don't want to be full of sort of you know rugby oh, oh, rugby isms great play though I reckon that was yeah, yeah, a yeah. tricky line out over the top long ball but just trying to hit Reese hit it at speed you don't want to be full of rugby isms but you do kind of hope that the referees are at least consistent so if you can find, mm-hmm. I mean, does that happen in a game? Do you kind of go, I can figure out that they're going to do this yeah. differently, and as long as they do this differently for everyone, ah, so be it. Yeah, yeah. The, the, consistency is all you want yeah. at um, at this level. So you know if he's going to ping something in minute ping five. You for it, they're going to ping them That's for right. It, so. And if he's doing it in minute five, he's also going to do it in minute 65. That would be handy, wouldn't it? You know? Coming so to the best can... part of the game now. Oh, here <laughs> yeah, we come go. On, here we go. <laughs> five experience. minutes in. <laughs> so here's the thing. Here um, we go, because they're both good scrums. Yeah. All Blacks heavier by 12. Which is nothing, kilo a mm. person. No, it's yeah. Technique, yeah. mate. Yeah. But what about this though? Now this sort of stuff. They're basically on each other before they. You can't get that. 
you know, yeah, you want to preload now. No. You're to... I mean, what would that have done? What, how would seriously have you? Who's down? Elbow down. How would yeah, you moody, have handled moody, that? Down. Have you thought about how you would scrum in this era? Like, you know, what I'm, you know what I mean? Like, would yeah. you? You know, it's different because you, you, you were, you were here and I was here and we just went. There. Yeah, totally. Like, well, hey, when I when I was playing, the the scrummaging changed so much. Right. So back in 1998, yeah. we basically ran at each other like two rams, <laughs> yeah. just smash into one another that's and it. have yeah. a crack. Yeah. Who's ever the, had the biggest force yeah. won the scrum. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You know, and then for some reason the the crouch the, touch pause was yeah, it that came one? In, yeah. The crouch touch pause <laughs> came in yeah. for safety reasons. Yeah. And uh, depowered scrums to a certain extent. Yeah. Until teams figured out how they they had to preload. Right. So. Yeah. So it's forever evolving, and it's for the safety of the game. So, is it is it the right decision? Like yeah, I for think the safety so. of the it, game. It, what I what I like about it now is that they've brought back the competition yep. at Scrum Time. Yeah, that's true. Is that you can still yep. compete yep. after the after the Initial engagement? Hit, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and it's all about keeping your pressure constant. It's interesting yes. when you go to a point of rule changing. Like I, I for the life of me, I mean, like obviously, there's only one person who plays any decent level rugby in this room. But you know, even playing high school, that kind of stuff, the rucking that we used to do in the 80s, oh. and and you see now people lying all over the ball and they can't do it. Oh, the rucking gosh. gone from the game does frustrate me sometimes yeah I, I think if they want to clean up this breakdown area you know I'd love to see wrecking oh. I, I can see in years to come that there's going to be Comes called back, yeah. there's going to be called a, um, a competition called rugby OG yeah. where they <laughs> yeah, go back yeah, to yeah, the yeah. big big scrums where you can actually oh, hit, get him, hit yeah mm. imagine old school rugby bringing yeah. that but hey now there's a marketable idea mate that yeah. is absolutely sensational yeah. like underground footy or something yeah, yeah. that's brilliant and pre, have pre rugby 98 well. rugby there was nothing quite like. Was it. that the moment? Was it about ninety eight? Yeah, ninety eight. Mm. Once, once rugby became professional, right? You know, they depowered the scrums, brought in that crouch touch bind in nineteen ninety eight. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Ninety seven was the last time you could actually smoke a scrum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going back a wee way now, isn't it? Ninety seven. <laughs> yeah. was how good were the nineties though, and everything. Oh. Well, that's forward. No, it's oh, not. It's nice it's line okay. Ball. You know, yeah, that's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Full of running the box early doors, but they'll want some return here though. Expending a bit of energy. Yeah, it was interesting to watch Fiji this afternoon. Speaking of energy, it was the idea of they hit that 50-minute 50, 50 mark. Yeah, and, and they, they were competitive. Yeah, yeah, no, it was gone. Guess, yeah. I, th I think Australia scored 27 unanswered, something like that. Yeah, yeah, it did. It was 27. It was 27? Yeah, yeah, it was. So they were actually behind. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't count Australia out of this. No, oh, no not at all. You know, no. that, that game that they played against us in Perth, you know, even if we had 15 people, mm -hmm. I still think we would have struggled to mm. win that game. Totally. Great. They, they I think that game was gone. Fire. Yeah. yeah, they we, were. They played such good rugby. Yep. And they were they superb. Can, if they can get close to that in this competition, mm -hmm. I think. That'd be very dangerous. You know, they're going to be. Is Pocock going to be fully fit? Torture. Is Pocock, Pocock's around in there? Yeah, yeah he, I think he's playing. Yeah, yeah, he was there. Yeah. I just, it's interesting. I, um, I remember. Thinking, I think I was talking to someone from Radio Sport way back, and they maybe Mr. Mr. Devlin I was talking to about it, and he was very nervous about an Australian game a few World Cups ago. Mm. And I said to him, "If we put, perform at our peak, it doesn't matter what the opposition does. Yeah. If we perform averagely and they do anything but other than their peak, yeah. then we win. If we poor, poor, uh, perform poorly and they perform at their peak, they win. Yeah. That was the Perth game. It yes. was." They were outstanding. Probably don't get much better, and we were pretty average. Yeah, yeah. that's right. So yeah, it was like but the we, perfect but, storm for them. So, so it kind of actually means, and certainly in teams gone past, uh, we'll see if we get tested with this team. But we could drop, not that we'd want to, but you know, ten percent of our quality and still be good enough to, to oh, yeah. get the win. Yeah, there's no doubt. Yeah. So. Oh, moody down. I saw a, a lovely uh, a video the other day with Mr. Aaron Smith doing a masterclass on passing. Have yeah. you seen that on YouTube? Yeah, he's, it's, it's awesome. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it is. Oh, he's a classy passer. Yeah, yeah. That, oh, that's been his yeah. biggest strength, that, yeah. that speed of that pass and the yeah. distance that he can get. It's just that split second, though, isn't it? It's and just that's that, what made the Highlanders so devastating. Yeah, exactly. Was that yeah. they could get over the advantage line because yeah. he had thrown it 20 yeah, metres across right. field. Yeah, There's another breakdown penalty against the attacking side. So the side with the football... That's been three out of three now has been pinged, which I, which I find interesting because as an attacker, you don't expect, you know, I mean, I know well, it's technicalities and it's all that sort of thing, but oh. it's, um, but that's just an interesting, um, uh, interesting theme emerging it looks after, like, after 10 minutes. It looks like we know who the, who the train spotter in the, uh, in the studio is. 
stats are, stats are vital. But you know, you got to hey, read. Did you watch the game last night? Um, the Russia, the Russian, Russia, Japan I, game. I didn't did see you, it. I was did out. you notice? Did you notice how long that um, the halfback for Russia? was moving the ball from the middle of the ruck mm. with his foot between right. someone else's legs. Was he? Yeah. And a third, like, through three sets of legs. Yeah. And then he would step as far as he could, yeah. pick the ball up and then chip kick it over the top. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. It was just, I've never really seen it where <laughs> yeah. halfbacks move the ball yeah. like five metres <laughs> back so that he can get himself into a better position to have yeah. a kick. Yeah. Legally though, but I'd never actually seen him put actually it through do it to guys' that legs. So it was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was the ruck, then there was a guy attached to the ruck, and the guy attached to that guy, right. and he slipped it through all of the legs right? to them. get the distance, yeah. so that he wouldn't have any pressure it's when he was doing good. his trip kicks. So he's having a big, a big buffer, yeah, big buffer zone. Yeah. But he was like, basically soccer dribbling it yeah. through their feet. <laughs> I guess whatever and works for you. Hey? This is, this is oh. different. Kane's getting up slowly. Yeah, it's some sloppy, sloppy uh, play there from um, New Zealand. There's that, that, the classic rush defence is uh, causing a few issues uh, early on as well. Yeah, Mr Kane, he's moving slowly too. The, the one thing that concerns me about like the, the last couple of years mm. with the All Blacks is this desperate attempt to try and keep the ball alive at all costs. At all costs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At yeah. all costs. Yeah, that's right. You know, sometimes you've just like, you know, Played you've just the seen it Sometimes just take it up the guts yeah. and run straight, yeah. run hard, yeah. and recycle oh, oh, the ball. That's right. Yeah. Oh, well, he lost that Got too, Barrett, didn't he? But they're going back for something. Mm. Yeah. So you're talking the one-off running? Just that that, that 50-50 passing. Yeah. You know, yeah. trying to keep the ball alive. At, and, all, at, at all costs, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. And, and, yeah. You know, I don't know the stats in that, but to yeah. me it would yeah. seem, you know, you'd, you'd win five of those passes to continue play. Yeah. Out of ten, yeah, that's right. So, so it's a fifty-fifty, isn't it's it? 50 it's well named. So, yeah. <laughs> so why wouldn't we just keep recycling, run straight, run hard? So you know, you get your big ball runners mm. like Artie Severe running it hard, taking yeah. in two defenders. That's it's, right. It's one less guy in the defense. Yep. Then two guys recycle the ball. That's right. Let's go again. Is, is that is yep. that where the Northern Hemisphere? That we talk about quite unquote boring rugby. Oh bloody Northern Hemisphere, boring rugby. Mm. That's more of a Northern Hemisphere trait. Southern Hemisphere tries to either tries to or innately does that flair, the sunny bill flick, the whatever out the back. Totally, but but I also think there's a time and a place mm. for it. I think that we rely so much Oof. as All Blacks, mm. you know, and, mm. and I think it's you know I love the speed that they're trying to play. And, oh, and absolutely. That, but the the amount of ball that does not come off. I think it could be reduced a, a lot by that decision of just actually I'm just going to tuck the ball and take yes. it into contact. Yes. When you were playing, uh, your favourite part of the game, did you like putting the ball under the arm and just oh, up the guts? Yeah, mate. It was best yeah, part. Run it straight, mate. Just run it straight. For a front row, eh? scored a few meat pies back a year. You did, though, didn't you? You were, you yeah. were a try scoring prop. Yeah, I like scoring tries. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I like, mate. I, I grew up running with ball in hand, yeah. so I yeah. loved, I loved it. Up in Auckland. Up in Auckland, yeah. 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 You know, even as a, as, a, as a little kid playing ball rush, and yeah. just just that was just what I really enjoyed. Well, that's kind of the game, isn't it? Yeah. You know, everyone wants the ball in their hand. You know, right? yeah. hold the ball. You now yeah. I'm going to run. You try yeah. and stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's how I how I played my rugby yeah. as well. Yeah. So. Well, that's actually. Yeah, I mean, you're think... standing in front of me in that goal line. I'm going to run through you or over you. But just think about that as a rugby kind of idea. I'm got I've got the ball. Try and stop me. Yeah. That's pretty much. You know, give. I mean, think Jonah or those guys. That that's, that's actually right. that was their that was their plan. Mm. I've got the ball. Try and stop me. Interesting though. Like cats. I, I wonder whether you know that sort of era because I remember. Ooh, scrum oh, under that's pressure. A good, good. Oh, great Springbok uh, scrum, wasn't it? Oh, man, they're moving up fast, aren't they? I tell you what, that rush defence, eh? Hey, but um, <clears> that was it. That you, you'll they've been reasonably even to that point. That was a big win to the box on that scrum case. Big yeah, win. we got the ball away, so yeah. that's a win for us. Yeah. But yeah, we were under pressure. And and you see that we're going backwards now. Yeah, we were you know? high. Yeah, we were high at scrum. Yeah. And they're now being driven well back. Still have control though, eh? So that's one of the things that frustrates me most of all, especially if it's like in the last quarter of the game, is if you need the you need the ball to score the points and kicking the ball away. And even in then, going backwards, but I still mm. had the ball. Didn't lose the ball. Yeah. And I, I noticed that in the I think in the Fiji game today towards the end of it it was like 10 minutes to go they'd got down and they were they were chip kicking and kicking the ball away and i was just like yeah you gotta you gotta have the ball in your hand to dot down over the line don't you yeah you do um you know sometimes though it can be actually it sounds weird but it can be counterproductive to play too much footy i know situation a game can dictate but and you play too much with the ball in your own half and you keep it for 
20 phases, but you've gone nowhere, even though you've recycled. You expended position. energy. This is the thing. You know, you, you're yeah. spending all this time in your own half. You're where, not going to score hmm. back there unless you yeah. make a line break. And I think in, 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 in World Cup rugby is that you've got to play it in the opposition's half. Yeah, you do. That's it. Yeah, you There's no, no point yeah. um, playing too much footy in your own half, really. Um, Can I just say, that was as crooked as a dog trying to be a deck throw. <laughs> just me though yeah I always used to think there was a, a rule that I'd like to see brought in it's very I'm a pedantic prick sometimes but yeah. if you throw it and it's not straight to the line out yeah. but the opposition doesn't jump does then, it matter th- then they haven't lost any advantage yeah. you only lose advantage if you jump yeah. because if you're not jumping there's no advantage What's lost play yeah. on it yeah. so I, I think that's a, so therefore that also encourages the team to contest for the ball because if it is if it is crooked then they've lost an advantage this is a beast of a man Savia yeah, it's isn't amazing, isn't yeah. he? It seems like he's he's clocked up a bit this year, as oh. well, maybe with speed or he's done something he's in the off season. Gone to another level entirely yeah. as a, as a rugby been, player. He's, he's absolutely sensational. Phenomenal. If we had a fully healthy team, hundred percent, or physically, mentally healthy team, yeah, would he still be number six? Yeah, of the squire. I think so. I don't think you could leave Savia in that form Savier out. No, 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 there's no way. Can, can you? Yeah, you'd have yeah. to probably leave. And one of the questions I had, this is, again, <laughs> it's probably not... On the beach. not <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, yeah. hey, or, hey, it's a long tournament and you, you use Squire as an impact player. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You know, you yeah. bring him on with 30 minutes to go and, and run rampant and... Well, that's what Frizzell's going to do. Yeah, that's what... So, yeah. so that works yeah. in that regard. But yeah. I think um, no matter who... Well, I mean, you've got to... That's an interesting one with Squire because he's fit and available and ready to play. And they said the door was still open. Well, he's, does he, no, he's not available. He's made himself unavailable. No, no, he made them. himself available. He, did, he missed out in the end. He made himself initially unavailable. But they, I thought that the coaches came out and they said they've made an agreement that if they need if they need to call on him, he'll say yes. That says to me he wasn't available for that. Oh, he was available squad. for the for the squad to be picked. He was oh. available at that stage, oh. and um, he missed out, which which I found quite I found interesting. Why do you think? Just lack of game time. Oh, I think once you say no. You say no in the I mid- think you cook mm. your goose. He said no earlier in the season. Mm. And I just wonder if it was like, yeah. They said all the right things about, you know, mental health and all that sort of stuff. I, I just wonder. I just wonder. I wasn't aware of that. So you're saying that he was a fully fit, available yeah, to go, would absolutely. have been in the 31 he's, yeah, if they had a back at the him. moment. He's playing for, yeah. yeah. Playing for Tess and playing awesome yeah. too. He's yeah, playing yeah. great footy. Yeah. I'd still have him in my World Cup squad. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, but they've just chosen hey, mate, not to pick him. You know, it's a big competition. Injuries happen that's just right. like that. Yeah, and that's you're, right. You're one plane right away from Well, we've already, who have we lost? I think you're right. Well, well we lost uh, Jacobson. And, and do you remember? In the first week. Yeah, before the first game with concussion um, yeah. and I remember the first time I really knew or saw of Jacobson was when he played the uh, Highlanders at uh, at um, Forsyth Bar Stadium this season and that's uh, that his performance then he almost got him a black jersey it was absolutely Ooh. sensational I was wondering he was named in the squad he didn't play a game he was out within about three or four days of being over there yeah Will he still get a medal if they win? It's good. It's a good point. It's a good point. Oh, they're under a lot of pressure there. That's a five meter to. Uh, is that Wanga? Um, yeah, he, he probably will win. He because he, he got injured in the first game. He could get a same. medal, yeah. but will he be a good uh, quiz question if they end up uh, winning it? You know, who was the member of the squad who uh, never played a minute? Yeah, Spade Sporter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That changed back in the early days because I remember in '87. There was the likes of Bernie McCarhill and those kind of guys who yeah. played in some of the games. But in the very first one, they started off by only giving medals to the people who were in playing the final. in the final. Is that right? And yeah. I think because of people like Bernie McCarhill and some of the other guys who had played in some of the other games but not the final, that I don't know if it got changed for them and then they gave it to them, but that was certainly cited as a reason mm-hmm. for changing Well, that way. was in the days when, of course, your subs, you know, if you're one of the six reserves back then, the only way you got on was if a guy, like, broke his arm or something. Yeah. And there's no, no, no. substitutions. See, that, that's a different so, yeah. back, back, you know, even pre-2000. Is yeah. It? You had to be stretched off <laughs> to come off the field. So it really is a team of 23 these days. It is. It yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's a squad of 36, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's so, a good point. Because basically, it's very rare that mm. all 23 don't get a run. Yeah. Oh, he's, oh, 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 they're going to get it back though. Oh, so if people are just joining us, you'll know that we're 18 minutes 50 in because we just sit there for the kick that off was the upright. The, yeah, South Africans, that's bread and butter for Pollard. He'll be filthy on himself for that. He, he put over a really good one in about what minute two? A really, yeah, really nice meters, kick. wasn't it? 
I yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, and and on the on the angle too. So mm. is it well over fifty metre kick in the end, and, and, and he laced it, yeah. Mm. And that one, he just hit the upright. He hit it well, but he just didn't Ooh. quite get the direction. Are we um, still the, are we still the fittest team in the world? Oh, I don't know anymore. I don't know because there was always that classic uh, rugby and rugby. Is what are you asking me, son? We're the second. We're the second Who's fittest the team fittest? in the world. Oh, I'd say the, by, the, by the way, those. The Japanese team ran around last night. Japan. Yeah, yeah. They're running around like spring chickens last night. There's no excuses now for not being. There's a, there's an international standard of fitness, and yep. it would be a pretty slack team regime that didn't have um, you know 90 percent of their guys at that particular Ooh. level. Oh, aren't you? I saw after 20 minutes the uh, Russian Ford pack <laughs> walking, <laughs> walking around again? last night, and there were a few boys taking a minutes. big long rest when someone got got injured. They've got they the, were, they've got this stuff in their water bottles, haven't they? <laughs> the vodka. <laughs> Um, yeah, but the, but then again, the gameplay is different. I, I think is that Spark Sport do a, something called the ten fourteen. It's like a series of people meeting a, some old dude wearing a beanie, looking cool, yeah. um, talking about stats and figures and stuff. And one of the things they brought up was the number of games played between the last World Cup and this World mm-hmm. Cup. And you look at teams like the Pacific Islands and stuff, and they played half the te- the games that, for example, yeah. the All Blacks have played. Yeah, of course. So there yeah. is that game fitness as well. Absolutely, nothing substitutes the match fitness, right? Yeah, yeah. Make it does it make a big difference. <coughs> match fitness is everything, isn't it? Well, you I think you know base, you, you go back a couple of years. Whoa. All Blacks would always finish a game in the last. Oh, he's in here. He's in here. He's in. Go he's too. Oh, couldn't hold his feet. That's all it oh. takes for New Zealand, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. Spark Sport. <laughs> spark damn sport. <laughs> Perfect point to pause. They got the pen. So they're so. going to go level here. Okay, so what are we doing? Definitely cooking, yeah. Oh, you take the three, even it up. Yeah, oh, you have up. to. Look at, look at Aaron Smith, though. There's absolutely no doubt yeah. about it. Or oh, is he going to have a look here, Gar says? He'll love a wee... And send Barrett off. Something will happen. It'll be Yellow card. <laughs> no, yellow card. He, he likes those South cards. Africa. He loves a card. He's gone 20 minutes without putting his hand in his pocket. He's, <laughs> oh, he's I, get, I saw him put his hand in his pocket just to check that was still just there. Just <laughs> yeah, I saw him pat, him pat himself on the leg. I oh, know, he's still there. Yeah. A little bit of a talk. All right, boys, just a settle down. Settle down, boys. Settle down, boys. Reed, even when he's um, superbly angry, is still smiles. It's, it's just his look on his face. No, it's, it? it's the eyebrows. It's like he's, he's got the world's most movable eyebrows. And so you can't look angry when your eyebrows are going up and down. Are they, Ooh, trying, are to they, trying, to that, are they trying to call that a head high? Mate, seriously. What, I mean, head. sometimes it frustrates me that the game, um, you know, is, is so well, overly as, policed. As my old mate Tana Umanga said, yeah. we are playing game of Tilly. <laughs> That's exactly it. You know, we yeah. all know what we're getting into when we, when yeah. we don the boots. Yeah. And it's a yeah. contact sport. Exactly. I, there's a, there's a malicious tackle is a different thing. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just a, yeah. you know, an accidental, just like what just we like saw Just like that. There. I mean, what was he supposed to do? Mm. Let him score? I mean, for goodness sake. He's, you know, the guys on the ground, you're going to, yeah, I mean. Really. But then, uh, and, and saying that, the rules of the game, that if you have to commit an offence to stop a score, doesn't that a penalty try? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, but was that an offence, though? You know, I mean. The Americans call it's it. It's not an offence. Americans call it nerfing the world. When nerfing the world, you know, covering everything in soft stuff like, yeah, yeah, a, exactly. like a nerf gun. Yeah, yeah. which is so. definitely what's happening. Thankfully, I think that's just going to stay as a penalty and the uh, score will end up as 3 all, which is, which is kind of good. I didn't see the trigger finger no. start reaching for Whoa. any. Jeez, I tell you. I wonder what? if this is happening to everybody. What was the, um, there was a call made, it might have been on a hair tie, in the Tongan game. And it was like the best call a referee's ever made. Do you remember what that was? There was, there was, there could have been a penalty and the, yeah. Oh, remember. common sense prevailed, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was, who was, um, was it Gardner in that game, was it? Yeah, Angus Gardner. I, I just, re- I remember thinking there was a. Because uh, he's a good referee. Yeah, oh, there Does, you go. Uh, yeah. Foods here, boys. Oh, gee whiz. How's pals? So the lovely, uh, see, we're in Dunedin. So, of course, when you're in Dunedin, uh, you have to check out the iconic Reburger. Reburger. Burgers and fries. Oh, Come along. There. Just get it in there, bro. Get it in there, boy. Get it in there. <laughs> So, there you go, then, mate. Shout out to Reburger. There you go, lads. Oh, look at that. Chip. Oh, Do you want for your boy? Crikey. Far one across. Oh, the, the look at one. that. What are we thinking about the Moanga uh, Barrett versus, for example, Barrett at first five and Smith at fullback? And well, you know, Moanga at ten, yeah. Barrett at fullback. Is it the best? Is it the best move? 
Or would you personally rather be in there at fullback? I like Warner. Yeah. At first five. I think he's got a huge, huge future. Yeah. But... Um, you know, Bender at fullback. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, for me personally, you know, I, I, I love Bender. I think he's yeah. fantastic, and, and I just think he's just yeah, been yeah. given the short straw this year. Yeah, I don't, you know, people Mind are saying, oh, he's not the, not the same player he was. Yeah. Mate, he hasn't played in his position all year. Yeah, he's been yeah. playing on the wing. Yeah, are we talking Bender? Yeah. So I'm getting drinks. Um, hasn't that been his career though? I mean, for a long time, people have been saying the best fullback in the world is playing on the wing. Yeah, been for his career. Here we go. Reese's away. Come on, mate. Good ball. Oh, here he oh. goes. Get out Savia, of go over the top. Yes. Oh. Drinks? Anyone else? Tom? Superb. I'll do a Pepsi. Yeah, go on. That was Fling a great run. Too, mate. Here we We've go. Got We're, We've got We're space. in here. We're in here. In here. Barrett. There Two it is. Go. There it yeah. is. Woo. Yes. That's a good yes. try, that. I'm on drinks. George Bridge. Yes. Yeah. God, he's a good player. He's fantastic, isn't he? Mm. It's amazing. Who would have thought of even a month ago that you'd be these would be the two wingers mm. in this game? You know, incredible. No more Pepsi. Well, what about that pace? Come, come here. Of Reese. Yeah, this. I know. Once he was away, he got away from his man, eh? But then you watch, you watch. Sa- oh, they're not going to show it. But did you see the turn of pace Safi had? Yeah, no, superb. He, he does like run like a winger, doesn't he? He just changed it to a different gear. Yeah. So that, after just talking about who should be the, the fullback there, that was that wasn't bad. It was <laughs> by young hey, Barrett. <laughs> Bodie's, Bodie's a great player as well, but you know, yeah. like I said, I'm I love being. I think he's oh, a great he's superb. Player. But you see, here's the thing: um, the South Africa's made most of the play in this uh, game, haven't they? And we'll take the All Blacks is where they're just lethal. Yeah. Who did you see? You Wonga know? saw that opportunity, and put their kick through. Yeah. Yeah. And he's a good player. There's no yeah. doubt. That's the thing. How do you fit yeah. so many good players into not enough positions? You know, so who's the unlucky people not to be there? You think? Well, Ben Smith. Mm. Oh, but he's he's on the bench. He's not yeah. fine. Yeah. Who's who's unlucky not to be in Japan? Oh, too many. Liam Squire. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I think they picked the beast, the beast team. Yeah. yeah. You know, my my the only only concern I have, and, and it's you know we're not going to really know till we get into the competition, is that. We've got a lot of mobile props, yeah, and not a, not a lot of experience here. Yeah, that when we come to a big pack like England, that yeah. maybe that's all they love doing, scrumming. Can we can that can we cut it? That's right. And if we don't, who who is our fix the scrum guy? It's a good point. You know, very good point. Did we like in and was was it oh seven that we got beaten by France? Am I right in saying that? In the quarters, yes, yeah, was. yeah, yeah, we lost. And one that of the was, that was in Wales in Cardiff. One in of Cardiff. the criticisms of that team was that. Is that you? You were there? No way, mate. I was living in France. Then. You were in France. Then. Yeah, uh, I was watching the game oh. on the Champs Elysees. Yeah, <laughs> just above, just above the Arc de Triomphe. Yeah, and we were commentating for back home. And yeah, you were too. Um, yeah. What What and was I the was one where there was you and Hoft and Oliver on the on the plane? That was ninety nine. That was 99. 99. Eddie was that 99? Eddie Des just come on board. Yeah. Took over from Canterbury. And See, to yeah. me, that was the start of props running um, in front rowers. Yeah. Running C- with Stevie the football. McDowell. Stevie McDowell. Stevie McDowell, McDowell yeah, he man. Did, but he was the, he was he was the original player. He was the exception to the rule, though. Mm. Like, Hoft could run with the football. You could. Oliver loved it. You know, like, mm. that was a great front row, too, because that, uh, that was the uh, Otago front row. <laughs> I remember growing up in Auckland watching Stephen McDowell through the 80s, and one of the things, not only his running, one of the things that I will never forget of him is the the pass off the base of the ruck, the bullet passes. He often played, he, was he also often substituted as a, as a halfback, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> He's the world's biggest halfback. Yeah. Weird. Now I think he runs pubs, doesn't it? We're Fitchy. Substituted for a winger. A winger. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Got a lot true. of out on that wing. He did. He got a lot. Well, it's interesting. That's that's now a... Uh, oh, well, oh, break. Here we oh, go. Right, right. And dog Yes, roll. go, mate. Yeah. He's in. See, I wondered about um, Barrett's selection ahead of Tui Pelo too. Yeah. He's mobile. Vindicated it now. He's yeah. very mobile. Yeah. 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 Nicely done. Go talk They're to the ref fire. now. Go talk to the ref now. So thanks for not sending me off this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make sure he's not reaching for a card as we speak. <laughs> yeah, he'll find something. Hey, this is a really weird question. How are your ears? I'm just looking at his head being taped up. What's that? How are your ears? Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how they looked? Did they survive very well. Yeah, good. I've just got a big fat one on the side. But yeah. That's why he's wearing headphones. That's um, covers them up. Yeah. 
kids, that's what happens when your mother says she's going to give you a thick ear. Mm. Yeah. You end up looking like that. Mm. <coughs> it's interesting in New Zealand, though, it's kind of a, it's kind of a mark of honour. Having a bit of damage around that sort of thing. I've oh, lived yeah. a hard life, probably a hard life. Ah. You um, you want to see the ears over in Europe. They're amazing, some mm. of the ears. Mm. I think guys go and whack themselves against the pole so they get cauliflower ears. So they get them, yeah. yeah. What's amazing, though, is how many people then don't fix them. Mm. It's Why? not a big, big deal to fix them. No. Have you ever put what leeches for? on your ear? That was one of the things. I just remember Steve Houghton used to do that. Leeches on leeches. the ear to take the blood out? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Because it's... <laughs> Internal bleeding, yeah. So you leave it long enough, it'll calcify and That's come it. like bone anyway. Yeah. So who cares? The great white pointer. There we go. <laughs> hot. So, uh, so, 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 uh, up in Kuro at the butchery there. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Used to have the, hotties. The pub on the corner he's got there. The cafe, kept the cafe up there. Yeah. So the fifty-fifty game currently, what is it? Seventeen three? Was that fifteen three? Uh, it'll be 17, is it? They've, uh, they're cutting loose. Cutting loose. Now it's too great. Oh, try. Oh, ten, okay. ten right. minute passage hey. of play. Capitalising on space that they, yeah. they've created. And, and, and South Africa have tackled really, really well. They've just fallen off literally about two key tackles and it's led to two, two tries. But isn't, isn't that your typical all black story, though? It's like 50 50, 50, 50, going hard at each other, one mistake by opposition, score. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's exactly what I was saying before. Before they'd scored those, but the point was that um, you, you, the, the South Africa were playing a lot of rugby. They weren't quite getting the they weren't getting the rewards for it. I'd like to respond to that, but my mouth full of reburger. <laughs> <laughs> so is mine. Right? So is mine. Yeah. Great this doesn't make for a good podcast, and we just eat the whole time. Yeah. Why do we just have to uh, put you're a right hand now. up when Got you're not? Got a bit of mustard there, keys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking for a. Tissue. Can I have a tissue, yeah, Thank you. Are props allowed to use tissues? Yeah. This is the right thing to do. <laughs> do you want some, some... Is this feed... Um, not the physical feed, this... Um, Internet feed. Well, we're hardwired, feed. and we've got, yeah. a gig, we've got a gig at town here, apparently. Yeah. So um, I just wonder if these these little Twitter. dropouts is... Um, Wouldn't be coming from us. Yeah, check Twitter. All right, let's check Twitter. Mm. Yeah. Twitter. Just to see if it's a or if you're watching, everyone's having, you know. If you're watching us on Facebook or YouTube, tell us if you're getting any dropouts. We're getting the odd one. It's only for a second or two, though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's not, it's not like, it's just, terrible, but it'll be interesting okay. to know. I think it's just, it's just timed when there's a try or something coming up. That's when it buffers. <laughs> um, I'll do this. Well, this, is a, uh, this game looks pretty easy now, doesn't it? Yeah, there'll be a few twists and turns in it to come yet, I'd say. So, so a lot of rugby to be played yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Approaching the 30 minute mark, and um, the All Blacks will be happy with this because they weathered a good early attack of about 15 odd minutes, really, with um, South Africa, and um, they threw everything at them. Early that's, penalty. That's the beauty of the All Blacks, though, is it? Yeah. Their, their composure yeah, under that's pressure. Right. And, the, and they just, they're always in the, in the game, aren't they? Always mm. in the hunt. What's the biggest comeback you can remember? You had any, whether it's, uh, you know, whatever the minor 10 was. France 99. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big comeback. That was a great comeback. Mm. And the game of the century. Oh. Over in, um, yeah, in, in Australia. In Australia. That was and that, superb. You know, and that was, we, that was like three tries in the first five minutes. They came back Australia. Yeah. Yeah. The great thing, my old man. scored in the last minute. Yeah. That was one of the, yeah, it's still the great, yeah, greatest game ever. I have to say that game at Forsyth Bar about three years ago with Australia when we scored in the last two minutes, that yes. was pretty fun. That was spectacular a great game. as well. That was a spectacular thought, game. Yeah, yeah. I, um, Wallabies looked good that night. Yeah, my old man is just kind of getting to terms with technology and stuff, and I'm just going, Dad, get a smart, you know, smart TV, get YouTube, go back and look at the games from uh, 10 years ago, yeah. from five, type in Game of the Century, and there it is, you can watch it. Yeah. It's great. You don't have to wait for TV One to replay it <laughs> one Sunday afternoon. Yeah, Ooh. with Peter Williams. Hmm. So seventeen three thirty one minutes in. We're not doing a commentary here, but just to give people a chance to uh, sync up with us if they're watching. I guess if they're watching this on replay as well, they could always sync up with us as well as we hang out and watch the game together. Absolutely. <laughs> so Good your last game for the ABs was oh four. Then you went to France and played for how long? I uh, played four and a half years in France. So 0809? Yep. Yeah. And after so, that? 0809, I um went to Wales. Yep. Oh yeah. No, it was four years in four years in France and spent one year in Wales. 
So I was over in Wales. I remember you put a book out called Le Rugby Man. Le Rugby Man. Is that yeah. true? Oh, so I'm right, eh? Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. Um, mate, I got, I got approached in 2004 to do a book. Yep. And, mate, I was sick of reading other people's autobiographies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, it basically sounded me, 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 me. Yeah. And I wanted to do something different. So I said, look, I'm going over to France. How would you guys feel about me doing a, a, a year in the life of Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, talk about my my career and things that influenced me to be the rugby player that yeah. I was. Mm. And um, so we wrote a book about it and wrote a book about our travels around France. Yeah. yeah. I read it, it actually some, when it came out. Yeah, yeah quite some, uh, some funny things happen over there. Right? Yeah, yeah. We, we thoroughly enjoyed it and we really enjoyed our time in France and loved the rugby. Hated the trainings. The trainings were non-structured. It was right. weights in the morning. Yeah. Lift as many weights as you can, yeah. get as big as you can, yeah. <laughs> and then in the afternoon, two hours of full contact rugby training. <laughs> yeah, is that right? Yeah. Full contact, full contact. Yeah. Um, so you're and lucky you to get to the weekend of one piece. Yeah, and then you got to play on the weekend. <laughs> yeah, you know. is that where uh, um, it's got a lot better over there now in France? Um, yeah, you know, there's a lot more influence from foreigners. Southern Hemisphere, isn't it? In Southern particular, Hemisphere yeah, and you know, and players from England. Yeah, you know, a lot of lot of foreign coaches over there now. Right, so the structures. But they st- still got private owners with big, deep pockets. <laughs> did you ever get that? Did you ever see that pressure we hear about with European clubs trying to stop people going to play for their countries and stuff? I mean, you might not have experienced well, yourself I was, personally. I was retired from the yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, But so did you did you witness that kind of politics going on at all? Not really. No, no. I didn't. I didn't. But I heard of it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'd heard of it over there. You know, they'll pay you a bit more not to play yeah. for your country. Mm, yeah. And, so oh, like, as, as, as a part of the contract at the start no, of the season, oh, yeah, no, I don't, don't agree with it. But you know, when you're when you're a player, and you've got family to support. You yeah. know, you've got to do ah, what's best. For you're you. earning. You're earning. It's mm. your job. Yeah. I mean, it's always interesting. Eh? I remember uh, when I used to work on ZB, and it was when uh, what's his name from the America's Cup went to Oracle. Those guys oh, went. Um, and New Zealand um, hometown Coots. boy, Coots, yeah, Coots, Coots, Russell Coots, yeah. And they were, you know, New Zealand turned out that he was you know New Zealand's most hated man, and which walk. was absurd. And I used to say to people working for ZB, and then Radio Live was a thing, it's not yeah. anymore. Yeah. You know, if Radio Live offered me three times the money, I'm yeah. gone. Just so you know, <laughs> I'll see you over on that other on that other station. <laughs> but of course, but most people in most walks of life, if you're yeah, a lawyer course. and a law firm says to you, I'll double your salary, you're yeah. going, aren't you? I mean, yeah. come on. No one, no one better than I did. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So why is it different? If you're rowing a, um, sailing a boat, I think, I think these Kiwis were growing up a bit. Yeah, I, I think now, so. Because back then, that was terrible. Then, yeah, yeah. The, there was a group that got set up. Something to do with was it the Black Hearts or something? There was some yeah, yeah, yeah. group that got set up, and 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 basically a direct result of that, which was nothing short of just just sycophantic nonsense, really, wasn't it? It's just like thirteen-year-olds. It was pathetic. I remember just thinking, really, like, yeah, this is growing. People, <laughs> you know, was seemingly fully formed brains and ideas coming up with that. Really, yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know, that's just jingoism. That's what that is, mate. It hasn't stopped though. I mean, you think after 2011, when Sonny Bill went back to um, was it East uh, South City, not South City. Um, oh, the Roosters, Roosters yeah, 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 for yeah. a season or yeah. season and a half, or whatever. It's still that's there. South, South, yeah, it's South, South Sydney. No, yeah. South Sydney is Rabbitohs. Oh no, sorry. Um, that's Eastern Suburbs. That's yeah, the Roosters. Eastern Suburbs, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Same thing though, you know, what has he done? We gave him so much, he's now leaving the All Blacks to go. It's like, yeah, he's got, it's his job. People and love hating He's back now. Sun, yeah, yeah <laughs> he's back now. I saw them, um, I saw them doing some training on one of the news network, uh, news network sites today and him and Barrett and one other player were shadow boxing. I was like, yeah, not with Sonny. You're yeah, former, New Zealand, former <laughs> yeah. New Zealand heavyweight champ. You know, yeah, you're full love him or hate him, you don't, you want to respect him. <laughs> you're quite an athlete. Great. Great athlete. I think he's superb. No, so I What's think. next for him? Um, probably... Um, Mario Dunedin. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, no, need, we need someone. I was going to say, there's no one else to yeah, vote yeah. for. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think you'll find... It wouldn't surprise me if he just quietly retreats into the into the background, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. You know? It wouldn't surprise me at all. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I, I think you do something to do with community. Yeah, I think so. Social work, Absolutely, but it won't be thing. high profile. No. He'll just go about his business and do that sort of yeah. thing, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, some people, when they retire, they search the limelight, yeah. and some people just try and avoid it and mm. just do their own thing. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You know, it's like, like when, I, when I retired from rugby altogether, 
I had to go grow up and get a real job. Yeah, <laughs> you know? absolutely, yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. You, you weren't in a position, like, I read, I can't remember who it was, but I've seen the top paid rugby players in Europe, two or three of them props, one of them New Zealander, a million bucks a year sort of thing. It's uh, John Ifoy. Yeah. yeah. Playing out of uh, Bristol. Don't want to know. Just signed for another year. Why, awesome. <laughs> why wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The thing is that yeah. the, those contracts were, were, you know, they were very rare when I yeah. was yeah, right, yeah. when yeah. I was over there. And it's only in the last 10 years that these these huge contracts have come out. Yeah. Um, hey, and and that's just, that's the market, mate, you know. We, we've got the best commodity, Absolutely. our players, and they should get top dollar yeah. on, on the market. But you, you, you you're know. paid what the market says you're worth. Oh, totally. You know. Totally. You don't go and put a price on yourself. Exactly. The market puts it on you. Yeah. And if you do put the price and someone's willing to pay it, yeah. then that's what you're worth, you know. Totally. If they all laugh at you and say, nah, sorry, mate, then you're not worth that. Totally. But the, you know, the funny thing is we still don't, we're still not on a par with football. No, oh no. <laughs> you know, no. Those, second, those second division so- footballers are more, more than most top rugby players. Than our top rugby players. Yeah. Players, so. hey, there's Ted. It's Ted's. all relative, and you know it, right. will, it will it will catch up in time. Um, Looks like Ted's almost going down to give them the half time talk. Look, he's got the clipboard. <laughs> Who was that with him as well? That was Ellison. Um, Tumbody. That was Tumbody Ellison. Yeah. yeah. He's a good player. Good yeah, footballer. Player. Really good footballer. Yeah. yeah. He's Still related to. Um, See, he's from the same Allison family, uh, Ricky Allison, the um, um, American football player. Yep. Yeah, cousins. Yeah. Hmm. He came to Dunedin not long ago. Yeah, you know, San Francisco 49 It's the first yeah. New Zealander to really... Ricky and Rhett, his son Rhett. Yeah, that's right. Rhett's a good player too, yeah. apparently. Rick's so he was NFL, like superstars. These guys were, you know, before a New Zealander earned any money doing sport anywhere, yep. this guy was earning well, big except bucks. For, um, except for JK in Italy on the side. This was before that. <laughs> this was before that, yeah. <laughs> Italy, yeah. No, good on him. That was great. But like... Um, yeah, Tommy Ellison, I always loved watching him as a footballer. Great silky skills, real understated player. <coughs> really good. Good cover tackle. Did you see that with Smithy? Man. Yeah. His first appearance with the All Blacks. Tommy? Yep. Um, Remember that campaign, Stand By Me? Yeah. He was the little boy singing the Stand That's By Me. That's right, he was too. Was Tommy That's, Ellison. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's going back a few years, isn't it? Yeah. It's on YouTube if you want to look it up. Yeah, though. yeah. Well, at half time, we're going to take a little break at half time. How's our uh, how's our half time? Pat watches the internet. Mm. Good to go. It's a, it's a spicy one. <laughs> <laughs> spicy one. At half time, we're going to get to take a break from the rugby, uh, and we're going to do a thing called Pat watches the internet, which is <laughs> uh, Tom has been and found us a half dozen clips that uh-huh. he is very proud to show us that every <laughs> human being should see, and so we're going to check them out. Excellent, and I know Tom, and I know that they'll be outstanding <laughs> as well. <laughs> So it looks like as we approach half time, seventeen three. So it's a good lead. They'll be happy with that. Plenty of um, be ecstatic, won't they? Plenty. Of, well, considering as say the first sort of fifteen minutes, they'll be very happy about how um, it's panned out. But they've um, got about their work quite nicely, actually. Um, some some pretty sloppy early early stuff, but they were put under a lot of pressure. I think South Africa came out of the blocks a lot better in the first half, but the All Blacks have really um, set the set the pace and the tone of the game now. I think in the last sort of twenty. Yeah, mate, I, I concur with you. Excellent, it's good to hear. <laughs> a lot good of man. a lot of people. When I say a lot of people, you know, a, enough to make it notable are saying this is going to be the final as well. What are your thoughts? Oh, so much rugby to be played. Who knows what form England's in? Who knows what form the Welsh, the French, you know, Aussie, you know. Ooh, yeah. let's, enjoy, let's enjoy the spectacle of the. Um, of the World Cup, yeah, the build-up. Once up, we yeah. once we finish the pool games, I think we'll then we can start start on. saying, yeah, who might yeah. be versing who. And, and, yeah. Well, the thing about the pool games, like Fiji, for example, I, I know it's not quite as black and white as this, but really they needed to knock off Australia mm. in their pool. Oh yeah, that's right. So well, really, so I don't want to say their tournament's over. That sounds horrible, but that was their one their one tip up. Well, who's in the, who's in that pool though? I'm not sure because they'll have a oh they he called that a knock on South Africa. They'll be ruined that. That's some pretty sloppy play. It's half time. It's half time. We're going into the half. Going into the half, so up 17 to 3. So if you are listening along to us, right on half time. Hey, Jay, so I think what we should probably do, just because there's been a few um, pauses along the way, is, is log off during half time and then log back on, and that'll maybe maybe catch up anything that we might have lost along the way, just in case. So should we do this? Should we do what Pat yeah, watches the internet? Yeah, let's go for it, mate. Are you up for this crack. time? Are you going to yeah. direct us as to what we're How watching? Good is this? And what we're looking at? So, so for Pretty us three good. here... 
what we're being able to see will be put into the uh, video feed. Mm -hmm. So the people watching, the people watching afterwards or watching live will be able to see what we see Excellent. as we watch it. Cool. And what are you looking for? Oh, another one of them? Yes. Uh, I do, yes. So what do you think of the Cadrona Distillery? Are you having the vodka or the gin? Uh, the vodka. I'm just having that. It's got a banana essence to it, eh? Oh, mate. They do a great job, those guys. Stunning. Is there a soft drink of some description in there? Bro, there's shite loads. Yeah, man. Just um, any sort of cokey, lemonade type shenanigans. Sorry, just a couple out. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah mate. Thanks, 17, three That's was awesome, it? man. Do you want to play with me? Uh, <laughs> all right, Tom. Tommy, Tommy, Tom. Tommy. Tom is now director Tom. He is in charge of the segment. What we have here. Yeah, uh, we've, we've scoured the internet. Some things, some recent things that I found. Some uh, interesting things. Don't ever look they at Tom's. Better be bloody interesting. Just, Tom. just, yeah, don't, just you know, don't ever look at Tom's browser history. That's all yeah, we're saying. Yeah, this is my browser history. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen Tom's browser history. I, used to, I work with Tom. <laughs> oh, uh, up, up, up at uh, ODT. Press. Yeah. Oh, nice. Tom, we got, we got computer sound. Eh? Is a video wizard. Police deadly shooting's not a good start. Yeah, I know, but it's funny. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't. Sure. What are we, Alabama now? What's going on? He was on probation. He fired the majority of the shots, 64 from his pistol during this encounter. 64 the shots. The senior officer, Officer Sean Staymates, has a right to due process now in any disciplinary hearing. And since December, the chief says the department has enhanced its training in de-escalation, technical, tactical communication, Anaheim. and crisis intervention. Lane. We tried to reach out to the man who died in this <laughs> pursuit. Uh, they were unavailable for comment. Michael, back to you. Unavailable for comment. So the person who's dead has got nothing to say about this. Is she actually serious? <laughs> I think you'd be unhappy about that. <laughs> oh, this next Hang on a minute. Holy shit. Next That's one's a, uh, uh, from the uh, TikTok. Oh, yeah, we love TikTok. I'm a TikToker. Pat loves his TikTok. From way back. All right, let's hear it. This, a bit of backstory. This is the song where there's the three people and then there's the last person. All three of them sing along to the dang, dang, diggity, dang, dang. Right. You see it? So oh, is, that, that's is the that, back, that the father? That's the backstory. Is this the father? Oh, no. Waiting, waiting. Come on, TikTok. Oh, I've seen this. <laughs> of course, yeah, anyone on TikTok has seen this one. <laughs> you click on this actual picture, will it do anything? There you go. Oh. Taylor, get out of the shot! Dump truck oh, no, in the flesh. Here comes the cootie squad. We should shut up, Heather. Sorry, Heather. Look who's with her. Oh my gosh. Dang, dang, dang. Taylor, <laughs> get out of the shot! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> there you go. There. He just got dominated. He got he? smashed. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, I like that. How long have we got? Now this is called Bid Goes Up. I've Be been, bid Goes Up. Okay. Go, this is a guy who, he ma he remixes lots of Simpsons stuff. And it's weird, I just listened to this whole album of him remixed, doing remixed bid Simpsons up. songs. Bid Goes Up. <laughs> bid Goes Up. 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 And that's the whole bit. But it's so well done. Yeah. And the production quality is. He's done so many. I know, I know. I think we might have a new theme tune. Bed goes up, bed goes down. Yeah. This is an internet classic. This is from someone else. I said, I said, what is your internet video? <laughs> 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 oh, man. Let's do that one again. One more time. One more time. I like the angry throwaway at the very end. <laughs> this one is like, oh, God damn it. I've had enough of that. It's superb. It's superb. He chucks it, doesn't he? he I can feel it. the man's anger. Seriously. Tom's. Next, what's next on Tom's big document of memes? <laughs> this, I, this is quite popular. You've probably seen this one, but it's amazing. Oh, no. You haven't seen this? This What's is Bollywood. Mean? This is called Bollywood at its finest. <laughs> oh, I love it. Insane. <laughs> no regard for physics. That is cool. 
That is Who pretty cool. I know. Yeah. And later on, there's a wide shot of just hundreds of these guys getting was it? Were catapulted they, were they catapult, from trees. They catapult. Oh, that's crazy. Is this the one where they've got that? Um, they have that big war scene when they first meet and. From the castle, they biff these big blankets drenched in fire. <laughs> <laughs> you know, two balls carrying this massive sheet covers the whole... I, th- I think that's actually from a legitimate film. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you saying? Bollywood's not legitimate? But it's so... No, no, it was a Bollywood story one too. It's quite funny. <laughs> All right, what's next on Tom's big... There's another TikTok. Good. Love the TikToks. Love a good TikTok. I, I watched this like... An was hour this, before I came. Was it this? Oh my gosh, I saw this just before. The story. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh. Holy crap. Okay, okay, I'm That's awesome. Yeah, or I'm dead up in the chamber. So there's like one of those hoverboards. Is it? Turn the sound off. You, if, you, if that went wrong, eh? Mm. You'd be gone. I think uh, I thought it was going wrong. Broken links. That's that's it going wrong. Isn't that going wrong? (laughs) He gets up. Yeah. He connects something. He's got a broken bone somewhere. I promised these guys that I'd stay off TikTok because I wanted them to find some stuff. Yeah. (laughs) Couldn't do it. No. (laughs) Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Couldn't stay off it. And then, I don't know, to play us out, to play us out, a huge anaconda. Oh, live, live. Oh, this is this is not this is not funny or anything. I was like, oh, that's an interesting, huge anaconda. Jesus. Do you know live? You're leak? not talking about uh, live leak's a terrifying yeah. website. Don't ever go there. What is it? Let's <laughs> called live leak. It's where you used to go to find like videos of the worst things you ever seen right. until they put some restrictions on it. Finally, holy mackerel! How, how do we get a reference for how big the thing is? I mean, it's terrifying yeah, no. looking. That's awesome. But I love snakes. Though. Look at that. He's kind of... Oh, okay, um, there's a person for reference. That is a freaking big snake. My God, look at her. Nope. That's done. Okay, yeah. Jeez. But he's quite gentle, the snake. Yeah, yeah, like that's he's, he's kind of that, like... That's the word I was gentle. thinking. That is so big, so though, yeah. Mate, snake's just in the water having a chill out. Yeah, man, he's just relaxing. Yeah, that's right. These right. people have yeah. been coming in. Get out of my face, man. I'm trying to get some caramel on her. It's the case of snakes. <laughs> <laughs> You're I, in my face I with just, your camera. You're just licking what, the GoPro. What? Why would you? I just. <laughs> why would you put it that close to its face? Yeah. Mm. While he's while he's <sighs> cocking himself to launch it, you wrap himself around you. So we're in half time at the moment. How's the food and drink going? Do we need anything else? Oh, no. How the red burger go down? That was really good. Yeah. Good, Kai. I'm spent. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look. Hey, Jason. Actually, if we're not ready to start yet, let's have a look at that um that stuff um. Power, whatever it's called, the power rankings thing we talked about earlier, which you've already got linked onto your uh, yeah yeah. I'll just, thing. I'm just bringing the, the the thing up so we can actually see when it comes back All on. Right. So by. the thing, boys, that I was interested in is, and I haven't been a bit of a negative Nancy, but I've been saying I I've been saying up through this year, it's probably unlikely we're going to win the Rugby World Cup, not because we don't deserve to, but the chances of us doing three times in a row statistically yeah. seem hard. Yeah. One tip up seems hard. Mm. Now, obviously, I'm behind them and I want them to win, and they're the, I think they're the best team there to win it. But uh, apart from one World Cup, they've probably been the best team every time to do it and haven't done it. Yeah. Stuff did this thing, which I thought was really clever, and it's a power rankings. Mm-hmm. And it's got a list of power rankings, which we'll bring up when Jace is, uh, is ready for it, about the statistical chance, yeah, here it yeah. is, of getting into the quarterfinals and into the semifinals and into the final and then to win it. Okay. And so they've listed New Zealand through their algorithms as a 33% chance to win. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously, once we're in the quarterfinals and all the ones below that drop off, the and stats will the change. Stats will change. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. they'll change and they'll move. But still. But I think this is a really good thing for fans of the All Blacks to look at because it basically says... We're still the strongest team. Yeah. Look, we're, it's a one and three for us and a one and five for England. Yeah. Mm. But actually, it's not this. It's not an easy road. No. It's not an easy road at no. all. So because I thought, I thought still, that was a really good way to look at it. Yeah. And, and where was um? Where was still Fiji a sixty-six percent chance they won't. <laughs> so Australia is in Pool D, and it's Wales. That's the other one. So we were yeah. talking about Fiji before. Yeah. So Wales. So now Fiji has to beat Wales. Yeah. To that's, get see, that's what I was trying mm. to say to you. That's their game. You so, think so? I thought I thought Fiji Australia was the game to tip them up. No. Do you reckon Wales? Do you reckon Fiji I think could tip Wales? Is up? St- no, no, no. I'm just saying, like, they have to, to, you know, their game that's more. Li- I think they're more likely to beat a Wales side than they are to beat an Australian side. Okay. Mm. All right. Do you think they're going to get up? 
for the Northern Hemisphere team. Than yeah, I just think that they'll target yeah. a, a sort of a game, and I just don't think Australia was the game that they would have expected to win. I think being realistic, I think they'll probably have a... Yeah, they might fancy themselves a little bit more against uh, a Welsh side. I'm not sure. I don't think mm. Wales would be terrible. Though. I think they actually be a reasonably strong side this World Cup. But, but I like I like looking at this because if you go down out of the out of the 90s, right? So you start off at about France, which is an 88 percent chance of backing the quarters. Mm. Those are the, obviously the stats have actually changed since this afternoon because Argentina's lost and so is Fiji. So now Fiji Fiji was at about 14 percent, I think, this afternoon. But this afternoon, before those games happened, I was looking at them thinking. Forget the 90s, they're all there. The ones between sort of 80% and 20%, those were the really interesting pool games, but at, at the moment have gone to form. Yeah, yeah, they have. Uh, at this early early stage, they have yeah. gone to form. Yeah. Um, what about Japan, Scotland? Any thoughts? Oh, Scotland should be too strong. Um, you'd fancy Japan to <laughs> cause an upset on, on home soil, potentially, but I don't I know if Scotland would, to be the game. Yeah, I know. It's... That would be the one that they would want. Yeah, they'd love they'd it. They definitely yeah. want that one, but yeah. when you look at... I think people are underestimating Scotland. Yeah. Um, I think Scotland are playing yeah. some really good rugby. Really good rugby, yeah. Yeah, they're playing some, I mean, but some real good running rugby as well. They almost made the... Did they almost make the... Was it the final, the semi-finals <laughs> of the last Rugby World Cup as well? And they got completely robbed, if memory serves me. Mm. See, these guys, correctly. talking about South Africa chance of being in the final, Stuff's algorithms put... South Africa chance of winning that's today what obviously getting, mm. at um, 7% uh, that feels a bit low to me I mean obviously if it was a New Zealand South Africa final it might be 60-40 but today they say only a, a 7% chance of winning the whole thing Yeah, I don't know is but this live though? Uh, it does change yeah that has changed like I said Fiji has already changed Yeah, mm. so it's dropped down yeah, but, but I mean, it's not live as it's happening in the game. Oh, well, actually, I was just thinking, I thought that New Zealand was 34% this afternoon. Mm. Yeah, so maybe, so it's, maybe it is actually uh, maybe literally actually live. Is live. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you kind of want these sorts of things to, um, you know, I think to I, be I think as I actually notice a change a second ago. Oh, if you, yeah, like you see the little arrows on there are flash yeah, updating. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think so it is actually updating, updating quite updating, like, it's, yeah. it's like a, that, and, that to me it makes it sound like it seem like it's <laughs> updating or something. <laughs> It could be just those flashing lights to make you think it's make doing think something. It's yeah, make it look like it's <laughs> real We've flash. We've got a team of monkeys working away <laughs> yeah. in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Bashing away on a keyboard. The best of times, the blast of times. The oh, thing, yeah, that's a, it's a good idea. Yeah, let's see if it's I'm live, live. Some of this, mm. I mean, I would, I would have thought that they probably would have updated that tomorrow. Mm. You know, but maybe if it's live, live. You're cracking the chocolate. Yeah, already, mate. It could be controlled by an octopus like the Football World Cup. Yeah. What about these? Jace, get a close-up on this. This is thanks, th- not thanks to like they sponsored us. I bought the freaking things <laughs> but from the from the Wadi Fuddy. Are you know these ones? Shaped all black shaped cookies. Yeah, all black shaped cookies. I don't know what that means. Are what is an all black shaped shape? As, as an all black? Or? We better have a look. We have an all black with us, so maybe they all look like UK. We'll be big around there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got one open. All black shaped cookies. We better have a look at them. See what they are. They're no, shaped like all blacks. Just say that one looks like some kind of uh, pill. Yeah. I don't know, you know. Rugby ball. That's Rug- what it is. Oh, that's what it is. Rugby ball. I couldn't have picked that. Mm. And then it just says, All, all Blacks. Wow. So shaped like a car. Oh, there you go. All Black shaped cookies means rugby balls and the word All Blacks. Mm. So um, you had to get a real job. Yeah. And you moved into real estate. Is that what I you did straight away? So I was over in Wales and just before Christmas in 2008. I snapped my Achilles. Mm. He snapped it. Bang. Playing Munster at our um, Strati Park. Five metre scrum. Mm. They're going to attack the tight head. And my Lucy then hooker go left and leave me oh. holding a whole Munster <laughs> scrum for myself. <laughs> One thing was going to happen there. I was either going to get my head pushed out my ass, or, yeah. or something's going to give. And something gave. So yeah. Snap goes my Achilles. So then. You know, they was going, you know, I had nine, six to nine months recovery. And yeah. I was thinking, you know, what happens if I don't, don't yeah. come back from this? You know, I was 36 at the time. So I thought, oh, look, you know, whatever happens, I've got to start looking at life after rugby. Absolutely, yeah. So I put the feelers out back here in Dunedin um, yeah. about an apprenticeship, building an apprenticeship. I have always loved using my hands. You know, I went to art school and was majoring oh, right. in sculpture. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. Cool. So I thought, wow, you make no money being an artist <laughs> until, you, until you get a name. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So yeah. I thought, oh, well, I'll go and be a builder instead. Yeah. So I 
move was moving back in in July to to start my building apprenticeship. Where yeah. I get a call from my target rugby saying, "Hey, we've got a couple of injuries to our front row. Would you mind filling in for That's a six right. month, yeah. uh, six week, yeah, six week stint?" So I came back, started my building apprenticeship, and um, ended up playing for Otago. So six weeks went by, and they continued my contract on for the rest of the year, and then signed me out for two more. Mm. Two more oh, years? Yeah, two more seasons, here. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was when the idea of the Razorbacks came in, wasn't mm. it, about them? Yeah. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, and we went about, you know, I came back, and there was, you know, there was some okay props, but there weren't a lot. Yeah. So I thought you know while I'm retiring and that I might as well give something back to, to rugby and start up a front row clinic ah, right. you know well before trainings yeah and before pre-season we'd run these clinics you turned up with your boots on I'd train you yeah and um you know some of those boys are now playing super rugby and yeah and 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 that now which has been awesome for that's a cool yeah. yeah so then you know I was doing my building apprenticeship and after 2011 I decided that that enough was enough yeah I'd, Needed to hang up the boots. Mm -hmm. I was getting slower and my guts was getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, these younger guys were running around me like like no tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So um, then I get a, a phone call from Jamie Joseph saying, hey, would you like to come be the scrum coach for the Hollanders? Oh, so, cool. So I moved into some, um, moved into some co into coaching. And after that, I was, well, first of all, I signed up with, with a, with Otago Rugby, with Tony Brown yeah. and uh, Phil Young, yeah, to coach Otago for for three years. Yeah, so and I did the did the Hollands for two years, and then from there I was just you know with coaching, you know, as as a technical coach, you know, you don't get paid too much, right? Got a family to support and yeah. and 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 look after, and the only option for me in coaching was to go overseas and start coaching a team overseas. Yeah. And I came home to raise my kids as Kiwis, yeah. right. so there was no way I was going back overseas. Yeah, so you'd done that. I had to look yeah. at another vocation, and I looked at the building, and um, then a mate tapped me on the shoulder and said, "Hey, mate, you've seen you with people. You're pretty good. You're friendly, and you're not too scary. And you, you <laughs> <laughs> would you would you consider getting into real estate? You're not that scary. Have you seen? <laughs> have you have you Google Case and have a look at the glamour shots online for the uh, acting? Some pretty scary shots. There. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Man of many talents, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> master of none. So, so the reason, because I was going to ask that as well. Mm. You were in Europe. I mean, the world's your oyster, and you're over there. You could have done any. When I say done anything, moved, lived, whatever. Mm. It's all about raising the kids. Yeah, mate. Well, well, the, what 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 cemented it for me was that we lived in lived in France. So my two girls at the time, um, they were fluent in French. That was yeah. their first language. Cool. English. They spoke English with a French sentence structure. So they'd be they'd be saying "Daddy, Daddy, the car black," right, instead of the black car. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then when we went yeah. to Wales, they had all of that with a Welsh accent, and I thought, nah, that's what it. Is this? <laughs> what a <laughs> He's melting pot of yeah. yeah. Oh, I just thought, oh, <laughs> where's the hey, 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 Papa, hey, cheer, cheer Dad. Yeah, you know, that's a choice. <laughs> I said, Where, where's all that? So I thought, no, it's time to come home and raise them as Kiwis. And, we need to mention a few things here. Barrett's on the blind side. Reed's gone to the open side. Um, Savi has gone to eight. Tui Pelotu's on. Uh, Cody Taylor's on. So Sam Kane's off. Dane Coles is off. He had a head injury in the first. Well, the head knock. That's so, why. Mm, so this is interesting. Interesting. Um, Did you mention Barrett off in the blood? Uh, I think he's. Bodie's bloodbin. I'm not sure whether he's. Um, what's going on there? Well, he was—he got a kick in the face. And yeah, was going he did. On the yeah, yeah. But I'm not sure if he's uh, on the paddock or not. So I okay, say. So this stage in the game, I guess from a from a commentator, from a professional, mm. uh, seventeen three up. Well, you're not comfortable yet, but if a oh, no. but, if, but if a Bodie Barrett was sort of injured enough to to warrant maybe we should rest him now. Is this a good enough lead to pull him off and bring Bender on? Uh, well, I don't oh, think you're going to change much. No, I think well, if anything, you're going to get a bit more uh, attacking with Ben Smith because yeah. he's got that vision. To see holes and put his, his his wingers into holes. Yeah. So I think if they didn't bring him back on, that could be a good thing. Is Bender on now? No, so I, I, haven't, I haven't seen whether um, uh, Barrett actually got pulled yet. I'm not the sure. The claret was flowing. I'd be surprised if you're still on the field. But, yeah, mind but you. Maybe. Blood, no, Imagine what that magic water can do. Yeah, exactly. true. Yeah. Mm. True. 
I mean, if it's not broken, it's just it won't take long to um, to stem the flow. But uh, Moanga's still there at first five. So what's so happening here? Uh, so we've there got a it scrum is. Pen. There it is. Yep, Aaron Smith's loving that. Yep. Um, that was the South Africa just folding. Yeah, they did. Yep. It's a bit short, a bit no. short, but short. Uh, it's probably actually ended up a little bit better than what they, uh, what they thought. Two Pelotos. So two Pelotos on for who? Well, so Kane's oh. off, so they've reshuffled. Right, gotcha, 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 gotcha. So, well, Kane didn't go off for that blood. Oh, sorry, for the head straight away. So he must be off for good. He must have pulled him at half time. Yeah, I wonder if he's it's a long head. competition, eh? Yeah, 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 that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. long competition. You don't want to risk him. I mean, what do you lose? I, I mean, saw him on the sideline almost looking like he wanted to get back on. Maybe he's having a head assessment. I'm not sure. Um, mm. So as I say, what's happened there is, so Barrett's come out of lock and gone on to the blind side. Reed's gone to the open side. Savia went back to eight. And uh, two Pelotis come on and into, a bigger into the locking man on. position. Yeah. <laughs> a bigger man on for the locking position. Yeah, that's right. And he's been in really good form too, uh, two Pelotis, hasn't he? He's mm. been really good. Really aggressive. Oh, that's that's one thing that he's picked up in his game this year. Yeah, is, yeah. he was his never dominant. always sort of thought of him yeah. as a bit of a cream puff, really. Yeah. But you know, no, and I think that's that's benefited him. But that also started with the Blues, oh, oh, oh. Blues this year. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. He yes. stepped up there big he time. He did big time. Yeah. No, I mean not to take the conversation way off here, but what the hell is wrong with the Blues for so long? I mean, I guess, I mean, I, I loved it, and I love living here. Grew up in the 80s. I grew up in the 80s in, in Auckland where you'd go to Eden Park, you'd sit there, I have heard this from the announcement, let's say it was, uh, let's say it was Bay of Plenty playing, the announcer at Eden Park would, for, for a game would go, and welcome to Bay of Plenty, thanks for coming, we need the practice. I'd literally say <laughs> yeah. that over the, over the loudspeaker. The, the Auckland A team back then. Oh, 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 here we oh, go. One chase. to beat, one to beat. He's oh, running wow. rings around him as he got the gas. Oh, oh great brilliant tackle. tackle. He stayed in the game, didn't he, Mawanga? Well, there's, there's Barrett. There oh, you go. There's your answer. Only Barrett runs out from... With a, with from, a red lip. A red lip, and he runs out from his own goal. What a great, great exit from run. the dead ball line. What an exit. They were staring down the barrel of a five-pointer, and they'll probably... Oh! oh. He was Shit. outside. No, he was oh. retiring. No, he was reti Yeah, he was I think retiring. that was okay. But what a great exit from the All Blacks got out from the, the dead ball to their 22. That was a risky pass. Though. Oh, it was. Yeah, that last one was. Yeah. But Barrett, from the, the ball's on the man to run from this dead ball line. Seriously. Well, that's a good hit. That was a good hit up, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. From the South Africa. That was Pollard on the charge like a forward. Here they go. See, this is the thing. This game, South Africa will have a bit of fight left in them and yet, you know. It's not over yet. Well, I think if they score now, it's they'll get tackle. their... They'll get the heckles up and they'll, they'll yeah, come they back will. hard. Yeah, they will. But they just, they won what they need is a, is to cross the line. Mm. They, they've they threatened on a number of occasions, but they haven't been able to actually do it. They're looking reasonably likely here if they can hold the ball. All black defence has been good, though. Been real good. You know? Um, how, how When you're in a game and you're up by, let's say the game's over, it's 30-0, it's there's five minutes to go. What's the what's the feeling amongst the ABs that we're not going to, oh, 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 he's straight oh. through. Bugger. Well, that was a well take. They looked likely, though, didn't they, Case? Like, yep. That was the thing. It was like, it was almost. An, so this it, makes them dangerous. It does. There was an, mm. an inevitability about mm. that try, I think. This makes them dangerous because they're, they're in the game now. Yeah, they Whereas, are. Yeah. They yep. were in danger of being shut out of the game, weren't they? But. Um, so what happened here? Yeah. He just, just picked it up. Look, he just looked there. He just oh, picked, yeah, no straight one there. through. No one in the boot. No, exactly. No one in the boot. Whose well job's said. that, Case? Who should be standing there? Somebody. Anyone in the particular? The one that he just brushed aside. Yeah. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Smith. Aaron Smith, yeah. yeah. Mm. I was going to say, you're up by 30, 30 nil. You know, there's five minutes to go. How, how much yeah. amongst the All Blacks are you like, we want to keep this a zero? Yeah. Is that, is that like a... Yeah, but is that like a... You're like, that's a really don't important thing? Don't knock off. You. You're Zero's the All Blacks. a thing, though, isn't it, though? See, in any sporting contest, yeah. it's like you're playing cricket. It's a psychological. And you've got, like, you know, you've got... You've lost no wickets and you've chased the total down. Yeah. You don't want to lose one or two. No. You want to get it for you know for the loss of no wicket or in football if you're up two nil you don't want it to be two one you want no. to close it out two nil you know exactly. it's like you want to finish the game the off. clean sheets so you, a great thing isn't it you know yeah so you put yeah. the knife in you want to twist That's it now exactly right yeah. the knife's in now <laughs> let's, just, in. let's just twist it let's just make it worse yeah I agree what do you think about 
It's funny when we play, uh, uh, you know, like if it was a Japan or something and, and we beat them by 100 points, you kind of go, yeah. But playing Tonga the other week kind of feels like they're sort of family. I, was, I felt a bit bad that they got that 92. It was just, it was a bit much. Yeah. I'm not saying it was a bit much like they should have held off, but... No, it's tough. I mean, what are you supposed oh, to hey. do? Not not play your hardest? I mean... I yeah. thought for us it was like the All Blacks showed some very good skill in oh, that I game. I thought so. I thought they were they really were, good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was, too, that was also too polite to showing that aggression really yep. significantly. Yeah. Yep. 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 You know, and you've got um, to say, the, 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 the Tongan team are a, are a hard, hard bunch of men. Oh, mate, they're always what you nice. were talking about, Case, with those always having to push those 50-50 balls. Uh, always. Yeah, like yep. They just did three in that one move, mm. and they ended up losing losing the football. There was three in, in there that didn't have to be thrown. But the pass was thrown to a... There wasn't even a, a hole No, there. it wasn't. It, it, you know, no. what, what's the, why wouldn't Where's you just... Where's the percentages well, yeah, in a move like that? Why wouldn't you just yeah. hit it? You've yeah. lost the ball, you've turned it over now. Yeah. Why wouldn't you just take the contact? Just, yeah, oh, hold it. And then... And reset. And reset yeah. and start yeah. again. Now, this is an interesting one for me. Who I for? Sonny Bill. Yeah, who will he come on for? Well, he'll come off Leonard for Crossy. Do you yeah. think? Is it Leonard Brown? I, just, I, I think, um, and, yeah. I'd bring, him on, for, I'd off? bring him on for... Uh, has he come off, has he? Oh, if he's come off. He's in him, such man. good form at the moment, Leonard Brown. It's a Leonard Brown of a couple of seasons ago. Because mm. yeah. I just wonder... I thought so too. Because I, he wants Sonny in at second five. Oh, no, no, that was one of the other reserves I thought it was. Yeah, Brown I, I would I would sub Crotty for him, particularly yep. the fact that Crotty hasn't played a lot of football lately, match fitness-wise. Okay, yep. Um, so I would be surprised if it's not Crotty. Yeah. But hey. Mwanga, still, would he be considered in the international world as still a fairly green player? Oh, yeah. Mm. And what about Sonny Bill? He's he hasn't played a lot starting. He's played seven, you know, enough games, but well, he's cr- put- Crotty outside him could be an influence for, for Mwanga of seniority. I think um, Crotty, I mean, um, Sonny Bill is basically, in the last couple of seasons, has been the preferred... Um, the preferred starting second five eight, which surprises me that he didn't start this game. Actually, I thought he was a lay down to start in the twelve jumper. He's on with Leonard Brown, so it is for Crotty. Mm. As I say, I'd be surprised if um, if it wasn't the uh, wasn't the case. Full black front row change. Yeah, it is too. Look at that. Mm. All of them. Now, so well, Taylor. So, so does that does that show comfortability with the whole squad? Does that show? Well, well you've obviously, got to have two front rows, don't you? You do have two front two rows. Two front rows. Yeah. You know, and but bringing them on this early. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's very early. Ten, it's still half an hour. It's normal, normally game. when they do, but sometimes in a tight game, you you bring them on twenty minutes. Ago. That's right. So they've got the full thirty. Mm. These uh, these guys. Of course, Taylor's been in there since the half. So Coles has clearly picked up an injury of some kind. Mm. You wouldn't have expected Coles to go off at half time. That's an interesting, interesting thing. So what are we? We're, yeah, we're well, thirty well, minutes to go. The other thing is, is fresh legs. Yeah, you know those those guys have been doing a lot of tackling. Yeah, that's exactly in right. That first yes. half. I think you're right. Actually, that's probably there's a consideration there, isn't there? Oh, who um, was that? I think that was Leonard Brown, wasn't it? Just stole the ball, or was it Savia? Didn't see the hair. We've got this. Oh, yeah, that, I think, I think, I think it was that was Leonard Julian Brown. Savia. Fantastic play. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, lost. That was lost forward. That's he, forward. He's oh, he didn't backwards. call it. Kick. He didn't Chase call it. Reese in open space. Oh, he hasn't got the gas. Quick, no. He didn't have the gas. There we go. Oh, stay in. Stay it's in, going out. No, it's going in, out. It's going in. out. Oh, 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 only Barrett. Only Barrett. That was an arguably a knock on as well from the South African. He's let a couple go there. They haven't got a half back. Mm. Interesting. This is hell to skelter football now. Yeah, very um, much so. Things are get going. Uh, the pace of the game has picked up something. Cr- maybe it's those changes. So, well, so the full front row changed 30 minutes to go. We were talking before about a squad game. You know, it's a 23, we're a 31, um, but a 23 on game day. Got to be, I, I was listening to, um, oh, his name just jumped out of my head, Ali Williams uh, on Sky Sport during the week, talking about, you know, uh, I, I, it might, might have been um, Ted coming to him and saying, you know, we need you off the bench. That's your position is off the bench sort of thing. Mm. So same, it's, it's almost a little bit like it's not necessarily the best player on the field, 
is the best player in that position for that reason. Squad, totally, yeah. Yeah. Well, and if you're I, the best if you're the best tight head prop or whatever, but actually you with twenty minutes at the end is the best for the team, then that's what that's, we do. That's a, that's that's the um that's your role in, in, in that um in the competition. Yeah. And I think when you as a player, if you know that early on that that's your role, then you can adapt to it. Like that's in right. two thousand three that was that was my role. Right. That was Brad Thorne's role. Yes. Is that with 30 minutes to come on when we came on we just emptied the tank yep. we picked the game up went to another level yep. Yep. didn't help us in the in the semi-final <laughs> yeah. Australia, but that was the sterling mortlock uh, try wasn't mm. it that game yeah 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 that was where that was where needy jones put on two um open side flankers That's to right. counteract um, was it war richie and um uh, it was war wasn't it, it yeah, was war, war and um uh, dreadlocks um, oh, um, um, obviously George Smith. George Smith. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two fine footballers Two as fantastic well. Fantastic footballers. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we just couldn't get the ball back. That's right. Mm. Um, they played well that that night, Australia, mm. and the icing on the cake. Really, I mean, a lot of people blame Carlos Spencer for throwing that pass. Um, that game was, uh, you know, yeah. they stuck at with the All Blacks all night, and um, they you did. know, you know, they were very, very smart. They had played us two times prior to that yep. and we didn't change it up no we should change our game plan and attack them differently yeah but you didn't hey history didn't. history and hey. you know is yeah. that something I was just champion at the bit to get on the field yeah so. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that something that the All Blacks have Australians <laughs> <laughs> is I, that like, some... I like playing Australians they squeal the loudest <laughs> <laughs> is that something that the All Blacks have been guilty of over the era of, of the change of tactics because we've been so strong and we've got a way of doing things the change of tactic hasn't been necessarily the strength of the All Blacks. I mean, I'm thinking France 2007, well, and I think since that 2007 that we've we've grown as a right. as a country and as a team. Um, I think we we went the next level to be being super professional. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that was almost mm. rock bottom. Yeah, quarter final exit for an All Black side's mm. unheard of. Mm. So they go right, and that was the ballsy decision from whoever decided to keep um, Graham Henry yeah. in charge there. Yeah. That's because because the ninety nine point nine percent of the time, you change that coach. Well, you know, I think I think that's that's the big difference. So like, you look when Clive Woodward won in two thousand three. Right. He, he'd, he'd been there one eight, before. He'd yeah. been there for eight years. Yeah, that's right. So he had built not just his team. Mm-hmm. He had built the the surrounding players as exactly. well. So he had built yep. this massive big pool of depth. Yeah, and, and that's what you do as a as a coach is that you got. Four years, and then you don't win it. You get dropped, and then the whole new regime comes and in. And they've got the four different years styles. To, uh, yeah, and it's four, yeah. Whereas, hey, sometimes you need longer you build, than that. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You're building a, a a squad. You're building a, a, a team. Yeah, and you're building a um, how do you say this? A culture in yeah. that in that environment, yeah. so that no matter who's there. That they're in charge of this. That's right. This machine, and you almost need it to um, pervade it th- throughout some of the other rugby sides. With so, so, say for example, some of the super sides as well. You almost need that same collective sort of you thing. You just got to give it you know? like so many times. A coach is is building this game plan, mm. and it takes time to build a game yep. plan. Yeah, that's and right. And they have one year that's not good, and the clubs get rid of them, or, or the or yeah. the country get rid of them, yeah. and put someone new in. The following year, the new coach benefits from those four years That's or right. whatever, and, they and the team good. click, yeah. and they look good because yeah. they've inherited this. They've inherited that thing, the the, yeah. the, the, the culture and the that's ethos right. and that's already there. The and direction it's not that's already there, overnight, it's, is it? Yeah, you know, that's they're, right. they're just putting the icing on top. Uh-huh. I, I, I remember the Ted incident, and uh, there was you know there was it split the nation. It was like go or stay, and I remember working on topic at the time. It was a very strong opinion based people phoning up, but. It seemed to me that what we'd always done in the past, be it Mitchell or someone else, is if we failed at the World Cup, we got rid of them. Mm-hmm. You know, if you do do what you've always done, you'll get what you've always got. So maybe this is the time to keep him. Well, mate, or I, I just boot him out, just keep him, and then off it goes. I, I, I played for the All Blacks for seven years. In that seven years, I had four different coaches. Right. Yeah, wow. that's a lot of coaches. That's, that's a lot. lot. Of, yeah. and, and each coach wanted something different from me. So yeah. as a player, I had to adapt to whatever yeah. the coach wanted. All right, so four coaches. So Hart... Um, mm-hmm. Hart Wayne 99. Smith, yep, then Wayne, Wayne Smith, Smith, of course, then, yep. then um, he left John quite early, didn't he, of his own accord? Yep, yep. yep then, then John. John Mitchell, yep, and then Ted, right, yeah. So, and that was and that was when you were signing three year contracts in New Zealand, right? Rugby. Yeah, yeah. So it yeah. was, you know, for a big ask. You know, I was in two thousand four. Ted had one more year, and they were saying you need to sign on for the next World Cup. Yeah. 
and I'm going, well, mate, your track record is yeah. that, <laughs> that I'm going to be here longer than Ted. Yeah. <laughs> you know because yeah. you're going to get rid of him next year yeah, so sure. where's the guarantee and if he goes and a new coach comes in I don't get picked I lose half my pay that's right yeah I said you know the first thing you guys need to do is, is before I left was you need to sign Ted up till the next World Cup yeah you need to give an opportunity to build this team. Interesting, yeah, yeah. You know, and then they did. Yeah. And I went to France and they signed him they up. They did, and, yeah, yeah. It was which incredible. was the best thing that they did. Yeah. You know, and then the second best thing was that they kept them on after the 2007. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, absolutely. Yeah, they kept yeah. that whole... And, and when, when, a head, when a head coach goes, so do the assistant the, coaches. That's the thing, Everything the regime up. changes, the regime, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like the changing of the guard at, mm. the, at some bloody palace or something, Because was Hanson you know? there in 2007 or did they yep, bring him Hansen on? Hanson was there. No, no, he was and there. so was Wayne Smith. Yep. Right. Yep. So, I mean, yeah, they, I mean, isn't that, that now evidence for what we're trying to do, yeah? Mm. Yeah. Hey, just give us an update on that. Uh, Jace, what are you saying about the... I, I, I think that you um, told me... So, yeah, so I, I just jumped on Twitter and <clears throat> um, as most people predicted, um, Sparker pulled the plug. Um, we are getting it installed, but as, as you can tell, it's very patchy. Um, it's unfortunately only available on TVNZ Duke, but for Fantastic. some licensing reason, they won't put that live via Duke on TVNZ website. So well, you actually have to have it terrestrial. So this is what we said. We, our, our, our concern about uh, Spark Sport was if they go down, then what's going to happen is there's going to go to a terrestrial channel. We're in a studio without a terrestrial channel. <laughs> So we we might have to try and sort that out for another time. So hopefully, so hopefully, so hopefully, hopefully no one's seeing out. They have they haven't pulled the plug, pulled the plug, but they they from what I understand, yeah. they um their backup plan if yeah. the live stream had issues yeah. was that they're going to go they're going to right right go when yeah. they basically flick a switch and, and then that, then they switch right. over to live on TVNZ Duke, which is free to air. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, just do they still there's still a gap in that, and that they licensing wise they're not allowed to put TV. Well, TVNZ Duke is available free to air online, so you can watch it live online. You can't watch TVNZ Duke online streaming the rugby. So, uh, so for the for the generation of people now who don't watch television, yeah, who don't have aerials in their houses, who so yeah, watch Netflix, they're now so that shafted. They don't have any. They but don't, it's actually on free to air now. So if you have a TV plugged into an aerial, like an old school person, um, like a, like a like a non millennial, um, then you will um, be watching the rugby for free right now. But we've got a couple of backup plans, so we'll just make sure yeah, our I'm screens just... stay off the cameras <laughs> yeah. while we run our backup plans. So the rugby, st- we're still on. getting the rugby. It's just very patchy on and out. It's just in and out, in and out. So I'm, yeah, we're still getting it though. I'm hunting for an alternative source. Yeah, we have some ideas. We have some ideas. It's some fake news. <laughs> so um, you, <laughs> this is our fake news button. So. <laughs> um, I'm intrigued that because obviously you love rugby. Obviously, it was a ridiculous thing to say that that there wasn't enough money to stay in the coaching game. You were only ever touted as a as a, a technical coach, a scrum coach. Were you? Did you have aspirations at some stage of being the head coach of the oh, yeah, professional was, teams? Well, yeah, I was looking at being a, an assistant coach first, learning yep. the ropes, and yep. then eventually going that way. Um, but you know, there's only a certain amount of of top paying. Rugby mm. jobs in New Zealand, yeah, and they're all taken. Yeah, <laughs> and overseas it means that I had to pack up my family, all go over by myself, and then they end up talking some weird mix of languages. Yeah, and and that, that, <laughs> with a weird. And that wasn't for me. I've, I've yeah. thoroughly enjoyed the ten years that I've been back from overseas yeah. and loving watching my family grow and thrive. Absolutely. And yeah. But you you grew up in Auckland. Yeah, mate, West Auckland. Yeah. Grew so up. why? So why? Kelston boy. Yeah, Kelston boy. <laughs> yeah. Sacred, Sacred Heart boy. <laughs> Um, yeah. So why? Is he tall what, Maka? What, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I, Grace. I went to St Peter's for uh, the first thought out form four, and then across Sacred Heart. Yeah, so a bunch of them. Um, so why? Um, why did not Auckland? I mean, is it, did he became well, home when you moved here? Nineteen ninety six. Yeah, rugby went professional. Right, and that's when. So I was, a, I was like, as I mentioned before, I was a, at um, Elam School of Fine Arts, being a broke student. Yeah, um, trying to be an artist. Um, and I had a young, young child, a young family, and rugby came knocking on on the door. Yeah. I got a call from uh, D Smith, yeah, saying that he they had been following my progress with Anton Oliver in the um, New Zealand Colts, which we had probably what was it the Southern Hemisphere tournament, one of the first right. back in nineteen ninety five mm-hmm. over in Argentina, which uh, the which the the junior, what we would call the Colts, the NZ Colts back then, yeah, we won. And up in Auckland, I was the what was it the six cab off the rack? Yeah, right. So there was, you know, Auckland eighty. Yep. Yeah. 
There was um, so this was ninety six. Olo Brown, yeah, Olo Brown, yep. yep. Sean Fitzpatrick, um, Dowd, Dowdy, yeah. Then there's Kevin Nepia, um, Ross Nistel, mm-hmm. and um, John Akarangi, and then myself. Yeah, right. right. That, that's a pretty. That's a, that'd be pretty good practices. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> it was awesome. I love 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 playing. And you know, I got a few games for Auckland prior to coming down. Played three games. Um, you know, Graham Henry was the coach of that team. He was also my headmaster at Kelston Boys at the oh, time. Geez. Did he? he, also, he was also, I thought he was headmaster at um, Auckland Boys as well. Did, is that my? I think wrong he, he was a teacher there. Okay, and maybe deputy right. principal, and then moved out to Kelston. Okay, right. um, and then you know the opportunity got to, for me. I you know I was quite a cocky young fella, and um, I thought, nah, I'm not going to wait behind these guys and sit on a bench and get splinters in my ass. Yeah. So I'm actually going to go down to Otago and try so and crack Smith it. Smith gave you the phone call, did he? Yeah, D. Smith. Yeah, good for Gordon, stuff. Gordon Hunter was the was the oh Gordy, <coughs> the great yeah, like Gordy. So Gordon Hunter got me down, and um, the out, the, yeah, the, I, my first year I came down it was a bloody constable hunter. Yeah, it was a so yeah. you you it was a nightmare. I, I got injured and couldn't play for the oh, whole year. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. You're you're so, not one of these Mark Ellis stories. Kind of came for university and stayed. You actually came for the I rugby. Came for rugby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, right. Came Different era because Ellis. Um, Debuted the Warriors for Otago, that year? yeah, for the Warriors, the Warriors that year, yeah. yeah. Uh, Alice's debut for Otago, I remember watching it. It was against Canterbury at Carisbrook. Was it nineteen ninety? It was 1989 or ninety, mm. probably ninety, because wow. ninety one he was in mm. the World Cup squad over in England. Yeah. Um, he was skyrocketed, but Alice scored uh, two it- of the finest tries. That you'll ever see from a young whippersnapper on Carisbrook against Canterbury, and mm. they were, ja- and then he scored. It was it was ninety one because um, so he scored seven tries against Japan or something. Got, 90, got into the changing room, got his head pulled over. Ninety five, ninety one because I think he scored a try in every game because that's the year Otago won. Otago won the championship for the first time in nineteen ninety one. Um, yeah, yeah, and I'm pretty sure he became an All Black on the back of that. Yeah. Let me just say this while people are still with us. Just so you know, we've got a new feed. We won't say where it's from, but a new feed. <laughs> uh, we're 64 minutes in. So 16 minutes to go. Uh, All Blacks up by four. That's what we're looking at right now. Interestingly, with 20 to go, uh, Aaron Smith was up. Well, here we go. Here's a break straight away. Look, oh. it was a good time. Oh. oh. Is that Barrett out there? Oh. And knocked it on. That was the first thing. Um, oh, we got a penalty. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Mm. So what now? So penalty here, Wait, d- kick, a, kick definitely kick up by six. Get out of the realms oh, of, yeah. a, of a of a of oh. a. Oh, it's up by four, isn't it? So it'll be up by. There you go. Draw. Seven. Draw in the first game. I mm. heard a stat the other day. You'll know if I'm wrong, uh, Train Spider, that we've never lost a pool game at the World Cup. No. When would no no against no one? But there's so we've never lost a pool game. Never. So if we were to lose this, it would be the first ever. So Imagine, I mean, if, if we had have lost a pool game at a World Cup, it would be like folklore. Yeah, but, I mean, you think some of those years that, that we weren't necessarily the, 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 the best oh, thing since sliced yeah, bread. We've always won pool games, mate. Oh, yeah, no, there's nothing. But even this, this is... Bizarre. I think we had England in 91 in the pool. And we played them first up, from memory. I think we won. We scored like one. I think Walter Little scored a try. Walter Little, best television advert ever. Um... Whilst a little, yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's probably one of the toughest pool games. I don't think they've been challenged too many times in pool play over the years, to be honest. What about UK's playing against people? Who do you, like, I remember um, people talking about who it's hard to play against. Um, I find, funnily enough, I'm just thinking about um, basketball. When Michael Jordan gets asked the question, who was the hardest to play against, he always says Joe Dumas from the... Pistons mm. in the front row. Do you remember playing against any particular people that were particularly difficult for you, nationally or internationally? Yeah, I think when when I first started '98 um, and that playing against Oz Durant. Oh yeah, oh, wow. big Oz for the for the box. Yeah, yeah. 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 Here's yeah. a big pre drug testing years. <laughs> <laughs> say no more. Say no more. <laughs> he oh. was a he was a handful. He was big, big Oz, strong. Yeah. yeah, and I can remember you know playing with Carisbrook here and. 
and my hand was sticking out of the ruck and I looked up at him and he looked down at me and he, said, he just shook his head and said sorry and then just stood on my hand and just rucked the shit oh, out of it. Oh, is that right? Yes, yes. You know said, what's coming, son, yeah. take your medicine. Yeah, yeah. I loved that. I actually thought it was awesome. It's a great yeah. kick so, under pressure from Richie Mwanga. Great yeah. kick under pressure. Because I, get, oh, I spent the rest of the game trying to get him back, which I did. So, <laughs> But it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't his hand <laughs> I stood on. <laughs> I tell you a good one to, uh, yeah, yeah. A good one to hear stories from not the obvious ones, but the way that things were back in the day. Richard Lowe is fantastic no. at, yeah. um, you'll know Lowe. He well, the, the, produces the, the, radio show for him. The most, the, the thing was, he played in probably the most beautiful time to play rugby. Yeah. Where there was two cameras. That's it. And, and you were still and you, rucking. And you had, and you could just wait two passes. Yeah. And they get your retaliation. Get your, yeah, that's right. And yeah. the only thing you had to be careful of is if you did want to eye gouge someone, that they weren't sticking out of their fucking ruck like this, because that's the only time you get caught. Mm. Hey, Richard Lowe. <laughs> yeah. Yep. When, um, when their head's up out of the ruck. <laughs> but yeah. uh, he's got some great war war stories. Oh. Great war stories. He's a, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's fantastic. Yeah, the game um, got, got pretty... PC started to with all the the cameras, but there was still mm. still a lot of fun that we had. Oh yeah, I feel sorry for the boys out there now. And it, it oh, just they can't do me. much. Well, it cracks me up when they all get all barred up and they all running, and and I'll just be standing there. Going, what are you going to do? What are you yeah. going to do? Yeah, that's right. Are you going to push me with your chest? Or <laughs> that's right. Yeah, well, throw, throw a punch, mate. Throw it. You're yeah. going to be gone for six weeks. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Let's do it. There's, just do, mate, yeah. there's, there's, there's like. 36 cameras yeah, around yeah, yeah. I watched a, there's I, 10 cameras around mate Put yeah. me I watched the YouTube clip the other day it was one of those ridiculous I got stuck in a rabbit warren like you do sometimes down the rabbit hole which was like you know the top the top 10 rivalries of all time and one of the rivalries this is an American thing was um, Queensland New South Wales State of Origin oh yeah and they showed a little bit of it and I thought now these are the wrong you want one, the one where basically kick off happens in 1986 and Wally Lewis is there the very first tackle, there's 26 people f- punching and yeah. fighting. And like big, big, big punch <laughs> yeah. up. Well, that like, was hey, back in the day. Game. The first one was about 1980, wasn't it? Arthur Beetson was the uh, was the captain of um, of the Queensland side. That was the they, that's where it started from there. It just started. Who was that? Someone's over the ball, not releasing. It was a, it's a great defensive penalty won there by uh, one by New Zealand. So what is it? Twelve minutes to go. I mean, twelve minutes to go. Twelve minutes to go. A seven point lead. Yeah, take the penalty. Yeah, we did just before. <laughs> no, take it again. Yeah. Well, no, they're well, back. No, no, they're back. They're back. No, no, we can do the back. They did a, they did a 49 Barrett meter one. Barrett calls for the tee just outside his goal line. Yeah, yeah. I'm having a crack. Have a, have a 20 meter run up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, exactly. Um, do a happy Gilmore kick. So it's in the balance here, though, isn't it? Because um, All Blacks score one more time. That's they're over. good. Yep. Um, South Africa, if they're next to score, we've got a ball game. Yeah, we have got a ball. So game. okay, so so from on the field, what's the talk right now? What do you do? Are you shutting it down? No, you're are you not shutting it down. You can't you're not shut it down. Eh? You're positioning yourself to get into the half. Mm. Hopefully, you know, worst case scenario, you milk a penalty. Yep, that's right. It's and territory game then now, you though, go, isn't it? Yeah, then you so, go for. So if it's a territory game, are you kicking deep and chasing and making them score from the other end of the field? Good line speed, just like that. So yep. TJ yep. puts it back into the corner. Now you ask them to play with the football. They're behind. Mm. They have to play. Yep. Mm. And if you keep it down in their in their half, they're twenty two. Absolutely. Got- so we get it. We just keep plugging, 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 and and say to them, "How good are you? Can you yeah. go 70, 80 meters and score a try?" Yeah. Because yeah. this is the other thing: is South Africa uh, in the position where they have to they effectively have to score a try if they're going to win the game. Yep. 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 We're fine if we get a penalty. Yep. We're we're okay. We're good. Oh. So we're in the box seat right now with ten to play. It's funny, just looking at um, Bowden Barrett running there, I saw Geordie Barrett playing. The first time I ever saw Geordie Barrett playing, for I think it was for Wellington, for the Lions, and I went, shit, he runs like Bodie. They've got this style. It reminds yeah. me of Andrew Blowers for Auckland. Fast legs and, yeah. str- and, and strumming. Uh, it's that strumming. Yeah. I, 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 I used to, and I, and I thought about it, I was like, Andrew Blowers good play. from Auckland used to have this thing where he was bolt upright and his legs was a yeah. And I watched Geordie Barrett thinking, geez, he runs like that guy Bowden Barrett that I'm learning about, and it's his brother. It's his brother, yeah. 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 <laughs> so again, uh, kick and uh, make them play, uh, force them into touch. So, you know, All Blacks ball, 20 metre gain. Get off me. It's been a good physical game, this one. Yeah. It's been a nice physical game. What do you think about, because really after this game, it's quarters, yeah? So, yeah. so and, and it's about 10 days till the next game. The next game against uh, Canada is not until, I think, Tuesday or Wednesday of next mm. week. Mm. So it's quite oh, they nice. Got a, they got a Kiwi boy playing in there, Boris Stankovic from uh, West Auckland. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. 
played over. Who was he playing for over in? I think he was playing for Harlequin. Harlequins. Is that right? Yeah. Harlequins over in. Yeah, Harlequins. Tens ago. Harlequins in um, in England. Yeah. And he's playing in the Canadian team. That's pretty cool. We've got yeah. a. Um, we've we've, we've talked. Got... We've talked about just enjoying the game and not worrying about who's going to win the whole thing. But do you guys have B teams? Like who's your who's your alternate? If it's not the All Blacks, it's for that for enjoyment. For like, like mm. I mean, mine's Ireland. Obviously. Yeah, I was, I was going to say as he's got Ireland, his, as yeah. he's got his. See that one, Jace? <laughs> is Paddy's Irish whiskey almost on the one year anniversary of my mum passing? So mine's Ireland through and through. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I don't know. Um, Ireland, I like to see you know, them play well. Um, anyone playing in England? Yeah, anyone, anyone for you. Yeah, anyone? anyone? I anyone like watching, playing England. Um, no, I'll support. Depends. I mean, the French. No, I'm only I don't, uh, the French used to be razzle dazzle and could do amazing things. I don't know if they. Uh, that's quite that uh, anymore. Um, you know, they don't quite have that that same. Oh, sort of flair. kicking. Oh, that's, Sonny. That's not what you do, Sonny. But. Oh. <laughs> You don't see um, Sunnyville kick That's the football you a lot, kick do you? I wonder why. Yeah. <laughs> it was like... Um, so, you, was so Casey, you were like, you don't want to see England win. That's no, one of I'm your a, things. I'm only joking. Yeah, that, yeah, that is one of my things. The, the reason why, I, like, I respect England as, as a team, yeah. but all the chat yeah. on how good they are all yeah, the time, yeah. oh, that yeah. just annoys the shit out yeah. of me. Yeah. So... Was there a team for you when you're playing for the ABs that you got a little bit of extra joy about putting one over on? Yeah, it'd probably be Aussie. Yeah. You know, like I, I, I really love like when we played that we had Gregan. Yeah, and um, so that was the, was, was the best Wallaby side ever. Yeah, yeah, we we played them. We, the best era of Wallaby. We didn't rugby. hold the the blitters like for a while mm. while the, while that mm. team was was there. And mind you, it was only two games then, so you only That's got right. one shot. You only had a shot. Yeah, and the closest we got was two thousand in Wellington, mm. and uh, yeah, my mate gave away a penalty. Coming off the bench, your mate gave away a penalty, and John Eels kicked it through no, the post from about it. fifty. No, but yeah. it was geez, he hit that well. They did. He they, hit it well. It, he had it. Just, it was never missing oh, yeah. that. A lock kicking goals, yeah. you know, like a, a, just. It's like a halfback throwing in. Speaking of is, France, nobody, yeah. you yeah. know, Matt nobody's Burke, perfect. All those boys, they had a phenomenal backline. Yeah, well, they the had Aussies. obviously Philip Gregan Larkham. and Larkham. Yeah, yeah. Larkham, um, Berkey. Stephen um, Larkham, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, Stephen, was it? Yeah, yeah they had the Matt one. Burke at fullback. Oh, hang on, uh, just pause back. for a sec. We've got a kick going. I missed this. Yeah, so so Barrett's got... Um, Barrett's taking the kick, so... 37 metres. Was Mwanga still there? He must He be. must have gone off. Well, if he's gone off, that probably means Bender's on, though. So we talked about having a companion podcast where we wouldn't be commentating the rugby. Maybe we should have paid a bit more fucking attention. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Stop with the whistle. Oh, oh, look at that. Get their boy. Yeah. It's a beauty. Get their boy. Yes. So there's 10 points. So they're going to score twice. Play. Yep. So um, we're, we're home and host here. Lads, home and we're host. home and host. Yep. No doubt about it. So that's Barrett at first receiver there. The... So, yeah, no, he is. Um, yeah, Bender must be. I think he is. Just a couple of. So now that we've won, basically game's over. Yeah. Uh, Case, you got any houses to sell? You want to put a few out there? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got a couple. Of starting this, well, one started on Wednesday and one I had my open, uh, an open home today. I've got two tomorrow. Um, market's good in it then. About, yeah. about four years ago when I moved to Dunedin, that was the golden era for buying. Yeah. And yeah. the first house that we bought for two two thirty, two thirty eight thousand 238000 something like that, <laughs> up in Wakari, Little three bedroom, beautiful, and I always used to say it was a beautiful kind of nineteen thirties bungalow. If it was sitting in Avondale in Auckland, it would have been eight hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. And we paid two thirty for it, and I think now that's four fifty. People yeah. in Auckland will still laugh at that, thinking, "Oh, that's enough for a shack or half yeah. a section." <laughs> but actually, the market at the moment is certainly more more buoyant than it was. Yeah, right. there's, there's, there's less stock on the market, then there's more demand, um, which is which is driving prices. Um, you know, you're getting. My open home. I had a house up in on Wednesday night. Yep. In Pine Hill, uh, in Liberton up there. Yep. Thirty three groups on a Wednesday wow. night. Wow. Yeah. Unheard of. It's yeah. funny, eh? Because uh, you learn. I'm, I mean, I've been in Dunedin four and a half years, but you learn things. Some people don't say that flatter. Most flattering things about the Pine Hill area, but I love it because oh. it's so north facing. It's up. It's elevated. It, it's protected it's, from the wind. Yeah. And it's you great. get all day sun. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We just sold ours. Uh, took two days. No open homes. Nothing. Mm. You Gone. sold. Yeah. Where are you going? Waverley, bought there. Oh, up mm. with all the, the mm. 
What's a hmm? The upper, the, the, the well, yeah. well to do's. The hmm. Bro, I'm North East Valley. Lots of, lots of windbreaks. Real. Lots of windbreaks up there. And yeah. I'll tell you what, it's a really sheltered spot. It's a new subdivision up there. No, nice. oh, up the top. Uh, not quite. It's sort of midway. Yeah. It's sort of a little bit that you sort of think is a dead end street. It's you keep tucked going around the down. corner, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I know where you are. Yeah. Don't People have to say, don't have to say, we don't need you getting stalked, mate. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So for, for yeah, all those. Yeah, though, that you are sheltered there. For all yeah, those people yeah, cool. who are like looking from who are outside of Dunedin, what's yeah. the median house price in Dunedin at the moment? About five so, hundred, just under. So mm. it's four sixty. Four sixty. So, yeah, last month was four sixty. The average average house price. Mm. Two months prior to that, it was four thirty. Yeah. I, yeah. So it's jumped up. Wow, yeah, that's a lot. Jumped up at thirty grand. And so I'm going to go more when you think of the way that Dunedin's going, like with the hospital build and stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna, yeah. You're going to need job. Well, you got a lot of jobs. You're going to need a lot of places for people to stay. This is to come down to to build it. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, like people go on in in houses and they think, "Am I paying too much? Am I paying too much?" And you know, your house is is what you. That's what, what you think it's worth? To buy for it, pay yeah, for it's it. What yeah. you're willing to pay for exactly. it? Exactly. So, yeah. And, and in this market, you're not going to overpay too much. No. Because you know, within like like you said, oh. uh, Pat, is that when you bought four years ago? Yeah. The house was two seventy. Uh, two two seven, thirty. Two That's 30. right. Yeah. It, it, and it's now worth yep. what, what four fifty. So, so, so it's, it's old, very yeah. rare that it's get you, that you're going to lose. Probably, probably closer to know? five in a, in, a, in, a, in a competitive situation. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. It's a great turnover. So. You're never ever gonna gonna pay too much in this market. It also depends what you want to do. Like, I mean, the house I'm in at the moment, um, set up for me and the kids, mm. um, and I've got two at secondary school and one at primary school, and I'm thinking this is my ten year house. Yeah. So for a ten year house, we probably paid a, a little bit of a premium on it because because of family circumstances mm. at the time. That's but funny. I think for ten years, oh, totally you know, extra ten grand. Yeah, and that, 10 that's, years, that's the no thing problems. that you got to take into account. Yeah, too, totally. When you're buying is that. How long are you going to be there? If you're yeah. only going to be there for a year, yeah, you don't want to buy and flip. You don't want to overpay. That's right. Yep. Oh, geez, oh, been a few a punters site. have gone off. Is that is that uh, Matawira? Is that the beast? Maybe is he? Or they don't want to lose uh, too many players. South Africa here, game one, and a loss. Goodness me. Although in saying that, I mean you're right, but the in saying but in, but in saying that, then they've basically got three weeks or the next game of importance. Yeah, I know, mm. but yeah, so they could play a uh, second stretch. But this is the thing though, as a rugby player, <coughs> so you play game one, it's a big game, right? You play your best run on sort of fifteen, twenty three, whatever. The, the, there's a there's a management thing here that goes, okay, how much time do I give my top guys off so they don't get a little bit behind the eight ball in terms of you know that sort of match readiness, giving the other guys in the game in the squad games. You yeah, know, I like. also think you, you, there's a there's a fine line there too because mm. the last thing you want to do is go. We'll put Team B on this week. That's right. And Team C on next week. Yeah. And then you get to the important game and there's no continuity well, in your team. Exactly. So and those get, guys haven't played since you know for about three or four exactly. weeks. So you've you know. got to continually keep those guys your starting lineup yep. as close to it on. Yeah. Mm. And you might pull them after thirty minutes. That's the thing. Or pull yeah. them at half time. Or so. you know, one or two start on the bench. Maybe they mm. get thirty minutes from the bench. But yeah, yeah. that's right. It's interesting because it's it's the difference for what the old touring used to be. Because you almost did have the midweek. Oh, you did. You had your midweek team, and then the week yeah. So it was mm. almost an A and B. Mm. Yeah. But if you oh, there very much was an A and a yeah, B yeah, side yeah. on on the old tours, wasn't there? There was, you know, yeah. Did good I good times. I never really. Well, the, I think the You're last probably, one that yeah. we did. That was in 2001 right. when we took two teams and we did uh, went to England. Went right. to England. Yeah. So we played Scotland. There was we played then there was a New Zealand A team that went right. as well, and then they sent a bunch of guys home. Right. And then the 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 the, 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 the All Black team went to Argentina to play in Argentina. Oh yeah. Yeah. So when was the when was that the tour? Was the last time we did midweek games. Mm. Well, when was the tour to the Northern Hemisphere where Dougie Howlett was playing? Was it for Munster and they gave them a hucker back again? Remember that he did a hucker to back to the All Blacks. Yeah, he did too. Yeah, it was. It was around about that yeah. time. Yeah, as we while ago now. Mm. Was it I remember that though. Yeah. No, so this went two oh six. Yeah. Ooh, when good did Doug Um. No, he was still here in two oh six. Did he play in the seven World Cup? Did he play in the seven World Cup? Because Rua Tapuki was playing. At That's the right. He was too. Yeah. He was over there. So there were a few of them there. Yeah, I know they had about four Kiwis in the team. <laughs> in that Munster mm. side, yeah, they did too. The whole, yeah. the whole club rugby overseas, I mean, it sounds like what you're saying with training in France, it wasn't that much fun. But as the club games, I mean, surely it's a level down <laughs> from one thing, international. One thing I did love was, was Tuesdays. 
because that was live scrum day. Yeah. You'd hit the scrum machine 50 times. And yeah. Then, then you'd do 100 <laughs> live scrums, and that was yeah. That yeah. was training. Yeah. yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. Scrum <laughs> really training. Good. There you go. But yeah. like, like I said, that's that was... It's a wee while now. It's it? fifteen years ago. Yeah, yeah. You know that, that when I went over. Yeah, and you know from what I understand is that there's a lot more professionalism within mm. the club teams mm. over there. So, and I know England had professional coaches over there. They oh were, yeah, they were a lot more advanced. You know that, but that's where that French flair came from. Well, you know, that's you, we, the we, thing. we would travel, and our guys would be on holiday. Yeah, no. They wouldn't turn up and play. And, you know, <laughs> as a foreigner, you just never ever gave anyone an opportunity. You just no, kept playing. Exactly. You know, no matter who you played, you exactly. played. But yeah, there'd be guys in my team, and you'd be looking at them. You'd be walking around, talking to the sideline, and mm. yeah, but mate, play, do play your rugby. But yeah. when they turned at home, they just would never lose at home. Right. It was you know seven thousand people at a club game. Yeah, and that was mm. yeah. You're expected to win those ones, and you yep. get up for those ones, mm. and yeah, yeah. It is funny. That's funny. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, look, this one's this one's basically done and dusted. As like I said, the next side seconds. when it was. Um, Whoopee. I mean, even if South Africa score here, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um, you know, no, it, would, it would appear yeah. we're, we're not actually. It's not, it's not like we, as I say, commentating or keeping the closest of eye on the game. Drop goal. It would have, Go for a drop goal. It would. Yeah. It would appear that there's been no injuries. Nothing serious. Um, no. Well, we need to look at Coles. Kane, and we need to look at Coles. Kane's head. Yeah. Right. Kane and Coles t- w- are the two mm. big concerns out of this particular game. I think South Africa may have even more problems. Maybe a two or three, um, looking like serious injuries yeah, at this stage. Yeah, they weren't so good. Um, but no, I'd be concerned about Kane if that's a head. I mean, that's a, mind you, if he can sit out the rest of pool play. But he didn't. He didn't go off when it happened. It looks like they dragged him at half time. I think he had an in- head injury assessment. I mean, I can't. I can't, we're just looking at pictures here. We don't yeah, really yeah. have a feed. So I'm guessing. But he looked like he was moving around fine on the sideline at half time, ready to come back on. But he never came back on. Um, and Coles, of course, we don't know why he never came back out of the shed. Coach Taylor started the second mm. half. So, a couple of interesting um, ones to look at there. Do you guys have a lot of interest in the next three games? You're going to keep an eye on it. Is it the kind of thing you'll check the score the next day? Or you'll want to watch them. Oh no, there's the two TVs. two great games coming up this weekend that I'll be watching. One of them's France Argentina. That was today. Mm. No, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. France today. Argentina. Yeah, France that was kicked, today. Kicked Argentina's butt. Did they? Mm. Oh, I missed that one. <laughs> was it I was 30, busy. Thirty to seven. Yeah. Was oh, it? No, 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 no. That was a. It was a France Argentina. Was a nail biter. It was twenty three twenty one. I was going to say oh, was when it? I was looking at it on my on my app. Well, what time um, was that bloody game then? <laughs> Let me check for oh, you. Ireland, Scotland yeah. is this weekend too, isn't it? Have I missed that one there's, as well? There's a, lot of, there's a lot of good games this weekend. Because yeah. even today it was the Fiji, Australia, and, and it was yeah. France. I'm going to look it up for you to make France, sure. France, Argy. Okay. So that was a yeah. top. Yeah, because... Get on Tribe. 23-21. France, wow. 23. Argentina, 21. But France so was leading. Oh, no, France, it was, 20, France was, it was leading 23, comfortably. 7. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, and, and Argy come back at them. Yeah, interesting. Oh, I was looking forward to watching that tomorrow. We're done. Yeah, we're all done there. 80 minutes. They're playing oh, they've, for, they've got yeah. the last line out. They're playing yeah. for pride. The, the thing I think about playing for pride is it just gives you a chance to have a player injured for the next round. I mean, yeah. They've lost the game. If they if they score another Junior try boy. here, does it really matter? Um, it could come down to, oh, I don't know. Not, not, no, the, not the, pool play. Difference. No, nah, they're second. Yeah, we didn't yeah get a bonus they'll be play. second. Yeah. yeah. Not I mean, they play. go through. Mm. but uh, Still within seven. Can yeah, get a point? I don't know. I don't know how it works. Mate, yeah. I don't even know when the games are, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a rugby expert. Well, honestly, I honestly thought that that game... Um, Here he goes. Here ...hadn't go. been played yet. Oh, forward pass. Oh, there you go. That's a tough call. That's a very tough call, mind you. I mean, who's put them out of their misery? Then they actually play too well, badly. I was worried about that one. But when we scored those two tries before half time, I kind of that was that was the passage, wasn't yeah. it? All it needed that was a ten minute passage of play mm. that effectively won them the game. Yeah, you know, um, yeah. Uh, so there we go. But the um, so it's Ireland Scotland tomorrow then, right? I think I'm right in saying that. If you say so. I won't book it based on your knowledge, but I'll have a look what I get home. <laughs> yeah, well, I wouldn't trust the feed on Sky Sport, uh, Spark Sport either. Yeah, well, let's uh, let's see. That's, what, a, that's, that, that's, that's imagine. Oh, that's go, that's gonna grate a few people, isn't it? Not more more than a few people. Hey, I'm sure we'll hear on social media and in the papers that's tomorrow. I think so. Like we're all we'll the important. We're all we're all the important things happen on social media. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Everyone vents their rage. Yeah. yeah. 
All well, right, guys. It's already covered on all the news, all the news websites. Front page. Everyone's Spark got it. drops yeah. the ball, and then there's lots yeah. of people on Twitter saying, "I told you this was going to happen." Yeah. Yeah. And, and to, be fair, to be fair, everybody said it. Everyone said it. Yeah, that's right. Says exactly what's that's happened. Exactly what's happened. Well, that's a crap look for Spark, though. It's a terrible look for Spark. And Sky Jay, will be going. Sky mm, will just be, be loving, loving this. They you know, will be loving every just, just second. Then they're going. So, I hope they do well, but I also hope they fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> and so the next time it comes up or any event comes up and you've got Spark and you've got Sky, Sky can go, well, well look we've what got a proven track record and look, Spark, you don't. So I'd just like to say for the record, um, Spark Sport, um, we've been streaming live for almost two hours without any glitches. Um, <laughs> so it's not that hard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thanks. Um, <clears throat> Spark. Hey, uh, Case News. Thank you for coming in. No, you're welcome, mate. It's been a pleasure. Do you want to, I mean, like, you know, we're here. People want to sell a house in Dunedin. What do they do? They can come and see you? Yeah, mate. Give, come me, your name. give, me, give me a buzz. Look up, look, up, look up me. I'm Bailey's Metro. We've now, Metro Realty and Bailey's have merged. So we can offer you. Uh, have you? Yeah, no nationwide. Way. There you we go. We can get your listing out there. Yeah. In-house. And, yeah, we, we're on eight major websites in New Zealand and offshore. Nice. So, yeah. And Dom, people yes. know you from your radio career, which has been long and, and storied. Yes, but it's you're, been outstanding. You're, you've got a fairly recently new uh, position. Yeah, so um, on Magic Talk, which is the new radio live, yep. uh, rebranded at the start of the year. So we do... What um, frequency? It's in Dunedin, it's 96.6 FM. And yeah, of course, just uh, check it out. Yeah, yeah. 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 so yeah. Magic Talk... Um, you know, during the week, there's Peter Williams, Sean Plunkett, uh, Ryan Bridge does the drive show, uh, Leah Parnipper in the evening. So uh, it's a really good lineup. Uh, of course, the AM show with Duncan Garner in the mornings as well. And uh, we run the five to six hour called Rural Today. So yep. sort of agribusiness show. Yep. To kickstart your day from five to six. That's live uh, Monday through Friday. And then in the weekends, we've got the big show, Rural Exchange with Hamish Mackay. And Hamish th- Mackay. And that man, Richard Lowe as well. That's six to eight um, on Saturdays and Sundays mornings and I produce so I host the midweek and I produce the weekend so let's also say thanks so much to uh, you know Reberger who brought some stuff along to us to Cadrona Distillery can I just say I'm not a spirits drinker at all that is, that is you smooth are. though right? I know I'm not, not on the evidence of tonight <laughs> well, but this that did, is did you have a smell that vodka? yeah I did yeah. banana I've, I've, instilled is beautiful I've, um, yeah I've, I've uh, had a number of their uh, yeah. beverages at the Cadrona Distillery and they are a fine distillery it has to be said yeah and just for people who are tuning in or have tuned in or are now listening in post uh, this is what we want to do through the Rugby World Cup it's called All Blacks watching the All Blacks Case Muse was our All Blacks tonight and uh, we want to keep you company during the All Blacks games it's a bit of fun eat drink and make merry mm. All right. Thank you. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Go the All Blacks. Yeah, go the Abies. Well done. I'll see you next time.